Welcome back, everybody! Let's continue this game called Yakuza 3. Let's beat some shits up, because we can. Ooh. I think we left off last time before cutscene, right? At the end of the chapter. <clears throat> Start of the chapter. The man in the sketch. Oh, we're back in the... present, I guess. <clears throat> Kazuma. Chisung. Tell me everything. About an hour ago in his office, I'm not sure of the specifics. All we know for certain is that the man who shot him was cleaning image of Patriarch Kazuma. Kazuma son? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll shut up. So did Jack kill you? どうしたんすか兄貴。どうやら東京でも登場会の6代目が撃たれたらしい。それって1年前兄貴とうちの親父が杯関係した時、賠借人してくれたあの。I'm so curious to the plot of this game. How the fuck did Kazuma come back? Doc, how's the boss? Don't know, we can't stabilize his condition. Next week or so will be critical. Is he gonna make it? It's hard to say with absolute certainty. He was shot three times at point-blank range after all. Luckily, the bullets all appear to have narrowly missed his vital organs. That is certainly something to be thankful for. Where did the Aussie pull through, Doc? You gotta tell me. At the moment, I'd say around 50-50. Okay. But remember, he managed to call an ambulance entirely on his own despite having been shot multiple times. I don't think he's ready to leave you all just yet. And we'll do everything we can to, sure he do to make sure he doesn't. Thanks, Doc. Okay, so we're now actually back in present time, right? First three chapters were, like, in the past. It's about two and a half years? Two years? Three years? That something happened in between? <laughs> Like, the Yakuza series games are not that complicated when it comes to story, right? But I like speculating ahead of time what's, what it's all about. <clears throat> what's up, Haruka? Are you gonna go back to Kamaducho? I don't know if I am. Huh? Why not? You have a life here now, responsibilities. I don't have time to go running off to Tokyo. That's a drop of a hat. But if you don't, we're gonna lose the orphanage, right? It's hard to say. The one thing's for sure, whoever shot Nakahara was after the deed of our land. Aniki! Rikia? Late for house call. Oh, oops. Sorry, but I've got a favor to ask. What is it? Uh, I want to go to Kamarucho with you, huh? I know you're gonna try and get the deed back, Aniki, which means finding the guy who shot the boss. Please, you've got to take me with you. Rikia. Uh, and Mikio can stick around to the hospital while we're gone. He's on board if it means us getting payback for what that asshole did to the boss. And Saki, what happens to her? Uh, look, I'm glad you want revenge for your boss, but who is going to be there to look after Saki if you're not around? Well, uh, I could do it. Saki-chan can stay with us at the orphanage. It's not going to be easy, you know. I know. 
But she's probably been really lonely with her dad in the hospital and everything. Maybe it'll be good for her to spend time f with other kids for once. Haruka-chan. I'm sure the others would love to have a new friend to play with too, but please Uncle Cass, I've trusted you all these years. This time I need you to trust me. We'll take good care of her, really. Haruka. Aniki. だから。だから。だから。はい。Pack your things. Haruka. Rikia no koto mo tanonda. Eh? Aitsu wa koko ni oiteiku. Can take him, but no. Amuro chou wa kiken sugiru. Aitsu wo tsurete iku wake ni wa ikanai. Oji-san. 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 It's getting kind of chilly. Let's go in, Uncle Cass. I actually think I'm gonna stay out here a little longer. Okay, see you inside. Don't forget to wipe your feet off before you go in. I honestly thought I saw something sparkle in the water. What's this? You got the Ryu Locker Key number 23, Ryuku. Oh, nice. Locker Key. I wonder if I'm gonna get an item that's gonna allow me to find the Locker Keys. SQ! Hey, girl. How are you today? I'm not gonna have to pay you now for talking in my chat, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I read that. I've just been kind of busy with things, so I didn't respond. Strong hour cook and sleep, yeah. Guess there's a lot on my mind. But you don't need to wait for me, you know, because you have a big trip tomorrow. Should probably hit the hay. Mm. In real life. Ah, okay. Uh, should I do anything? Yeah. It's past best time, young lady. Oh, you're no fun. Just don't stay up too late. You'll get all wrinkly and then everyone will think you're an old man. Funny people have been calling me that for years. <laughs> uh, let's go see if there's anything to do in... Um... Oh, yeah, I have upgrades as well. Talking out loud is so overrated. Really? I don't really have much of a choice. Apparently I need to push a hundred people over. Like... 100% that they fall on the ground. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Did you hear... Did I hear you say something about English class? Oh yes, have 
haven't you ever considered taking lessons before? If you're interested now, you're entitled to a free handbook that'll teach you ins and outs of the language. Hmm, sure. Oh, but fluency in English will greatly expand your horizons. Don't you want to be able to communicate with foreigners? Here, why don't you try reading this book first? Then you'll... Start with the useful expressions on the first page. The page. For example, if you see someone in trouble, all you need to do is ask... Do you need some help? English is the kind of language where you can say one thing a lot of different ways, so it can be a little intimidating at first. Our English handbooks teach you exactly what you need to know, without extra fluff. Not only that, but each phrase has been academically peer-reviewed by optimal accuracy. I uh, hope you enjoy your course, and as we say in English, have a nice day. You don't want to upgrade... Anything else? Look at that big group. But hats. Uh, uh, these guys again. Look what you did. Smart ass things, we're gonna let him fuck around with us. You guys are in a good mood. If this is our old friend, we might have let you off easy before, but not such long this time, asswipe. Oh man, Anakin's hurt bad. The fuck are you gonna do about it? Are you alright? Don't worry, we got this. We got you. Just tell us where it hurts. Broke my leg, I can't walk. Looks like a compound fracture. Anakin might not make it, guys. Are you gonna fix this, asshole? Start talking. Tell me what you want. Starts how about a hundred thousand, no, a million yen for compensation. You got a problem with that? Anki here is a world class, uh, world class athlete. That was his golden leg worth a hot million. <laughs> Think you can take on this many of us? You better pay up if you know what's good for him. Why should I give you anything? He isn't even hurt. Ah, you got balls standing up to a group of muscle heads, old man. I think it's time you take a little swim in the Okinawan Sea. Here we go again. What is this background music I'm hearing? Sorry, we got confused again. Hey, I think getting punched helped fix my leg. Really? Did you hear that, mister? You fixed his leg. Here, I hope this covers your trouble. <laughs> Aniki, this is not right. We can't just let him do this to us. Dude, shut the hell up before you piss the nice gentleman off. I can't believe this, so that's it. Ah, oh, that's so lame. Something wrong? Nope, not a thing. <laughs> uh, these idiots. I saw this item here. Locker key. What the fuck is that guy doing there? Um... They're not falling. Mendo Ksei. Ryu Yuku. Quite some side quests right now in the evening. Everyone's gonna be like, why are you not progressing through the story? Uh, good question. <laughs> uh, you all should know by this point that Yordi really, really loves doing side quests. No falling. Ah, 
Eh, that's one. Stepped on my foot, angry punk. One fight, bitch. Let's hustle. SQ, give me a sec. I'm getting grabbed and I can't press balls. Okay, I can press balls. The Way of the House Husband, Goku Shufudo, is an upcoming anime series based on the Goku Shufudo, The Way of the House Husband manga by Kosuke Uno. It was released worldwide on Netflix on April 8th, 2021. Uh, animation work. I think you'll like, it, like this. Isn't that uh, that anime about that old Yakuza guy that becomes uh, <laughs> indeed a house husband? I think I, that is an anime that's actually on the list already, SQ. At least I think. I'm either gonna watch it as an anime or I'm gonna read the manga. Because from what I can tell, it's a really fun one. Sorry for picking a fight with you, you can have this. Um, there are two side quests here. One in here and one... Yeah, let's go in here first. Is this the arcade? No, it's not an arcade. Ooh. Items. This is a bar. It's not really a great place for me to... recover HP. What's wrong? Got a guy three sheets to the wind. And he keeps pushing our customers to play some drinking game. Bartender tried to stop him, but he won't listen. And anyone who tries his game ends up too drunk to function. He's ruining the whole atmosphere of this place. No one wants to be anywhere near him. If we want him out, someone's going to have to outdrink him first. Okay. Darts. I'll drink with you in a sec. I first need to pick up these keys. It's kind of annoying that the keys are only pickable up, pickable, pick upable after uh, once you start chapter 4. Oh, no, sorry, don't play. Mini games will do, like, late game, most likely. Play a drinking game, accept. Alright, accept. It's high time somebody put you in your place. Excellent, but I think you underestimate the drinking prowess of a man of UQ. So, what kind of game are we talking about, anyway? Well... The way I see it, it's no fun to sit down and drink till we pass out. Figured we could <clears throat> try a simple game of instincts. The loser drinks sounds good. Instincts, exactly. I'll point either left or right. 
and you turn your head. If you face the same direction I'm pointing, you lose, but if you face the opposite direction, you win. The loser has to take a drink. Whoever gets falling down drunk first pays the tab, so what do you think? So the loser drinks and the drunk pays. Sure, I can accept those terms. And here we go. Which way do we go? He just went to the r his right. No, his left. So I'm turning left. I win. Chug chug, deal's a deal. Say, that goes down smooth. Phew. Okay, found my drink, time for the next round. Which way? Left again. Ah, lost. Me of all people. Your turn to drink. Absolutely, freaking lootly, huh? Barkeep. Ah, that's good stuff. Now we keep playing. Which way? Right. Shit. I win, chug, chug. Deal's a deal. Phew, okay. I've had my drink time for the next round. Which way? So he went right last time. Let's try right again. Okay. I don't know how you can win this. So he went left last time, and after that he went uh, he went double right. No, he went to the right again. So what if I take left? Yeah, nice. I think I might have had too much to drink. Z more drinks. Looks like he's out cold. Thank you so much. This customer has been nothing but trouble the whole time he's been here. You deserve this for finally shutting him down. I have to thank you somehow. Half all of us. Wow, that's quite a lot. Here, my boy, take this yours now. Legendary drinker of Ryuku. That's the stuff. Won't feel so bad after drinking. He's out again. What should we do with him? Seems like a decent guy despite everything. He can sleep it off in... Back office, thanks again. Really appreciate it. Nice. I like that. Freakishly drunk, though. Can I, um... Make some of these people fall over completely. This guy just doesn't want to fall. Push over 100 people in total for an achievement in the game. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm trying to stop me. I've got no other choice. Stop him. Whatever your reason, it's not worth it. Now tell me, what's the matter? Oh, thank you for asking. Truth be told, I'm drowning in debt. I borrowed cash from a loan shark to keep my head above water, but then it all just spiraled out of control. Paying off as much as I can, but it's not even enough to keep with interest. The only way I can pay them back now is with my life. Literally, I just finished signing up a life insurance plan. Now all that's left is to kill myself. You know that won't work, right? Huh? What do you mean? Life insurance companies usually don't pay out of su of, out for suicide committed within a year of the policy start date. Huh? So I'm as worthless dead as in my life? Pretty much. Well, now, what? If I had any money, I wouldn't have taken out those loans first place, but if I don't pay them off, the loan shark will kill me anyways. 
What about filling for bankruptcy? Can't pay your debts, it's time to quit. What about filling for bankruptcy? Could try. Of course, there's always price to pay. Your credit score will be shot for starters, but it's better than getting killed, right? You're right. If I die, I'm dead. Okay, bankruptcy it is. Thanks for the tip. You can find out more from the bankruptcy lawyer. I think they still do free consultations. Will do, thanks. By the way, how do you know so much about all this? I used to work in a similar line of business. Lucky me. I'm Kishimoto. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for talking to me, Mr. Kitty. In that case, Kitty is on here. I'd like you to have this. You got a stamina real. Well then, I'm going to talk to a lawyer. Thanks again for giving me hope. That was a weird one, to say the least. How much do I need for the next level upgrade? 35. Okay. That was not a bad quest, honestly. That went by pretty quickly. Okay, time to continue pushing people over. <laughs> Lady, can I push you over? Only from behind, I guess, so... No, if they move. <laughs> they don't always fall over, though. No wonder they said, like, yo, just grind this one out. Do this while playing through the game. Because otherwise it's gonna take quite a while. You're looking pretty sharp, fella. I feel bad for people like you weighing down the buttload of cash. Use random fights again. I also need to finish fights with heat attacks. Fifty times, I think. That's what they said. Sorry about that. Whiskey soaked. <laughs> Once we get to Kamarucho, pushing people over would probably get a little bit easier. Welcome back, SQ. Sorry, I didn't... Uh, I was in the middle of a fight and I didn't uh, realize uh, you got banned that quickly. For, well, timed out for a stupid dot between two words. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking of, like, watching uh, that anime. Just won't fall over. Dang it. Somebody help me. She's Springer, ain't there? She looks like she's in trouble. I think I learned some useful English expression. Hey, sweet cheeks. Do you need some help? Wait, you speak English? Yes, thank you. Let me try in Japanese. I hurt my foot getting out of the car. I'm still in a lot of pain. And your English is very good. I would like to know you better. If you study more English, I can give you big rewards. Please consider it. See you later. So that's an English conversation, huh? Wow. I got free 2,000 experience points. Interesting. On the floor with you. Ah, you didn't fall that face. Can I go in here? Oh wait, I know where this is. I already picked up the key here. How much is my HP is full? 
Okay, useless. Another key on the ground. Another one here. Look like you're in the business. You're one of Kam uh, Kamiyama's clients. Kamiyama, like the arms dealer. Mm, dummy, dummy. I'm think of it. He did say he had a shop somewhere around here. Yeah. It's on the second floor. He's a little strange, but he definitely knows his stuff. If you're interested, why don't you check it out? You can use those stairs over there. Come here, mom! Dunny, dunny. Another Yuku Locker key. <laughs> oh, hey there, you finally made it. At this shop I sell weapons I've made and replenish ammo. I also have weapon molding service. What's that? Well, it's a way to upgrade your weapons it's called molding. To mold a weapon, you need to design a weapon to serve as the starting point and some materials. I can mold gear and accessories too. Oh, I almost forgot. Did I tell you how my shop works? Carried items, then make a selection of the mold menu to specific to modify equipped items. You will need a design from a book or DVD or a weapon or piece of equipment to mold materials, which complete the mold and the funds to cover Kamiyama's calls. Check the required weapons and materials by displaying the pause menu and going to designs under valuables. In addition to molding, I also make my own equipment. I'll show you, you if you want. I'll show you. Uh, view designs. I have no designs. Buy equipment slash designs. I don't know if I have to buy all of these, but extendable staff. We did get one of those for free though. Check out. Oh wait, that was just equipment, uh, more weapons, mid gear and accessories. Few designs. Twin hanger using long nunchucks base. Blackjack as the base with two super resilient resins. Least baton. Mail order katana. Plus one battery. That's pretty dope, not gonna lie. Uh, repair? Sure, we'll repair a weapon. Don't know if that's gonna do me any good. Um... Brittle beer. Durability up, though. Uh, never mind for now. I need to make space in my bag again soon. Okay. Yuku locker key, blah blah blue blue. Can I walk here? No. Eh, I want to kick him over. Uh, old people are, can aren't that easily kicked. Sadly. Another locker key. That guy. See if I can find anything to grab in this gambling hall. And locker key again. I 
once you realize keep an eye out for those sparkly bits it's not that hard to like find all the locker keys Public mark probably has some locker keys and there's a quest in there as well. Danny Danny yo Danny Danny Tsugi Tsugi Dan There's my buddy, one of my buddies. Poker key. Like, grabbing those locker keys is always good, because you just get quite good loot from it, and sometimes just very good equipment as well. I know that we are probably going to need to find locker keys in both areas of Kamarucho and of Ryuyuku. Ryuyuku. I think that's how it's pronounced anyways. Random punks want to fight you again. A rope, infinite. Picked up uh, the burner. Finish it off again with a burn attack. Sorry, I'm stupid when I admit. Let me go. Just uh, take this multi purpose thumb back. The fuck is that? Oh, it's one of these again. That it could penetrate concrete. I don't know what to do with those things, anyways. Is that like upgrade material or something? Why do all these guys always want to fight me? Street thug. Making that stupid mistake of killing them too quick. Platinum nail. Not very practical, but. Heal up. Let's go talk to all these people here. I like that there are characters now with like different body types instead of just
Okay, I'm feeling all better now. Please let me up. I hope. Very sorry, sir. I know you're specifically requested to see Bream. But I'm out of my hands. Don't give me your excuses. Do you realize I reserved that fish entire month in advance? Excuse me. Can I see what's fresh today? Aren't you that fellow from Nakahara Sons? It's me. I'm Kiryu. What's the problem here? Well, this gentleman reserved the Ryukyu Seam Bream. Sea bream, but I may have sold it to a local restaurant. What? Is it rare? Quite rare. It can only be caught off the shores of the Ryukyu Islands. Once you try it, well, it's a life-changing experience. My daughter and her husband are coming home, and I want to celebrate with her favorite sashimi. I see. I can't get it back from the guy you sold it to. You know, just give him a refund. Theory, maybe, but we're talking about a big, brawny guy, a real beast of a chef. Told him up front I couldn't sell the fish, but he made it clear I didn't have much of a choice. Hey, I know you're tough enough to stand up to him, kiryu son. Could you get the Ryukyu Seam Bream back? Please, I can pay you for it, up to 200 yen even. You'd be doing the two of us a big favor, so... I guess I have to. Where's the restaurant, anyway? You mean you'll do it? Thanks. Thank you so much. The restaurant is next to a place called South Island on Atsumachi South. Oh, here's 200 yen. Good luck. Okay, that's one. Okay, on to the next shop. What's wrong? Hey there, sir. I'm standing in for the boss on his patrol runs while he's in hospital. Place gets a whole lot of tourists, so things can get out of hand fast. And hey, it's easy to see how food's great and the booze is even better. <laughs> Point taken. Laugh all you want, but this patrol is pretty important enough that the boss does it personally. I'll keep at it. Hey, I know. Why don't you come with me, sir? You can see how real Ryudu men gets the job done. Well, yeah, I'll go with Mikiko. Mikio. Right, leave it to me. I'll show you a day in the life of an upcoming Ryudo man. Come this way. Is he literally going to walk this slow the entire time? Trying to waltz these guys over, but it's not really going my way, it seems. My goodness, Miki-chan. Patrolling the place all by yourself today, are you? You know how it is. Anything I should know about? Any problems around here? No, we're fine. Nakahara-san takes good care of us. We never have any trouble uh, worry about the thing. Good to hear. You just let me know if something comes up, okay? Doing pretty well. Come on, sir. Patrol means we gotta keep moving. Move so slow, though. Oh, Miki-chan, we got some of those pickles you were asking about. Seriously? Here. Try a little before you go. Whoa, they're really yummy. Nice steaming bowl of rice would go perfect with them. I know, right? Thought we managed to stock up for you. What's he thinking? Eating on duty? Come on, sir. Keep on moving. push all these people over, but it's not really going my way. You hungry, Mikio-chan? As long as you're here, we've got some new treats. Thanks, there's nothing like sweetness to perk you up when you're dragon. It is with you. Our brown sugar cake came out amazing today. Thanks. You let me know if anything comes up, okay? Of course, of course, we know we can count on you. Seem more like a taste test than a patrol. Come on, sir. Our patrol we means we gotta keep moving.
か言ってた。They legit are just not falling over. Try this, Miki chan, you'll love it. And try this, Ryuku pork. Have some snacks while you are while you can. If Nakahara son were here, you wouldn't get a single bite. It's a bunch. Keeping an eye on things here, sure. It's hungry work, I don't know. Looks like you've done more eating than patrolling. No, I'm just touching base with everyone. This kind of communication is really important here. Important here in Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Miki chan, got some gorge fresh mangoes for you. Come and get him. Oh, yes, I've got a little mere patrolling to do, huh? Seriously? Oh, and sir, if you wouldn't mind keeping this secret from the boss, Mikio is too busy eating everything. We pass to actually do work. I guess the Yakuza do different things differently here. This would never fly in Kamarucho, that's for sure. What was that? Cut it out before I make you cut it out. This is Ryudo family territory. And what, you're one of them? Take some guts to admit that. Listen, this market is a real moneymaker, so we're gonna take it over as right now. You can run on home, Tubby. This is Ryudo family territory. You stay the hell out. Yeah, the Ryudo family takes good care of us. We don't need your kind around here. You wouldn't be doing this if Nakahara son were here. Shut up, you senile old farts. I'll deal with you later. They're not the ones you're after. Yeah, and neither are you. You want to have it out with us? You bring Nakahara, got it? That is, if you get the balls, you bastard. Don't take the bait. But sir, these guys... And who the hell are you? Just pass by with a job to do. Ready, Mikio? Yeah, let's give him hell, sir. Let's give him hell! Smacking these guys with a giant ass tuna, that's great. <laughs> mori, mori. Finished with a heat attack. Uh, won't forget this. Thanks a lot, sir. Nice job out there, Mikio. Thank goodness you shut those hoodlums. You know Nakahara-san, do you? Then this is for you. What do you think? Pretty spectacular, huh? This looks it looks delicious. A giant blue parrotfish. Whoa, Miki-chan, you can't really hold your own. I knew we could count on you to keep us safe. Right, with you watching over us, we can do business in peace. Really? Well, then, it's my pleasure. Mikio, I'm heading out. Don't slack off on your patrol now. I won't. Thanks again, sir. Nice. And where's the exit here again? This way. We needed to pick something up for the side quest. Don't know how much that will like heal me. Not too much, not too little. That's good. I want to heal up anyway, so that's uh, bonus. North Plop Public Sacred Turtle Gold Foam. Like looking around if there's anything to grab. Like keys. 
Like, this is such a weird collect collection item, those keys, because people just lose them and they're... I and the items that they, like, keep in there. It's just, just kind of weird. ASAP! Not much. Just uh, running around. Oh, it's you. You think you could give me some directions? I'm going to the station. No idea what she's saying. If only I start those English lessons. Station, I'm so lost. Okay, I need to go talk to the other lady again. To learn some more English. Like, my English is okay. Like, uh, good enough. Or I should know that, how to say that. <laughs> but apparently I can't if I... Uh... Okay, guys, give me a second. I need to take my meds. That I can't do it, that's scary, it doesn't move it. How are you today, Sep? Not uh, being too addicted to watching Twitch, are we? That's good to hear, that's good to hear. <clears throat> Hatsumachi. To Sansui in South Hatsumachi. Near South Island, okay. I know where that is. Playing video games today, so Twitch is okay to use. Okay, good to know, good to know. Asshole. What have you been playing today, Sep? Platinum nail. <clears throat> you can upgrade things, but I'm saving up. Mm. This is a restaurant, right? That I've been working on. Don't order a drink. Forty-nine experience points. Don't know if I... Nah, it's good enough. Healing. Let's see if there are any keys on the floor here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, you're the man from before. Well, 
Are you progressed? It's anything nice happened because you can speak English now? You could say that. Wonderful. And then, in case you didn't know, a lot of foreigners live in downtown Ryukyu. So if you can speak English, you might be able to make some new friends. Buy the beginner's handbook. See, conversing with a lost person. Excuse me, where's the station? Oh, straight this way. Nice pron uh, <coughs> pronunciation there. Straight this way is another way of saying down the street. Learning this phrase is the first step towards helping someone with directions. Are there handbooks like Hidden Gems of Knowledge? Now, I hope you enjoy the course, and as we say in English, have a nice day. Okay, we've been down that street. Okay, let's try and push this guy over. That didn't work. Sad. Can't walk here. Why is it so hard to make people trip over? This is a Mayon camp. Let's see if there are any keys that I can pick up with ground from here. Haha! -ha! Don't you know that this turf belongs to Aniki? Don't you know that I'm everyone's Aniki? works. And how is you doing all right around? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay-ish. I'm doing okay-ish. I've been like uh, trying to uh, keep up with getting out of bed on time. But in all honesty, it's been kind of rough been getting kind of tired too quickly. Who the fuck are you? Cario can No, we're not singing right now. Matadozo. Want that key. Where is it? Here. Back him! Back me. I saw that look you gave me, asshole. You think I'm stupid or something? Actually, I do think you're stupid. Hmm. 
Jump it up! <laughs> you got a bloody 5,000. <clears throat> okay, now there's nothing here anymore. That is the weapon shop. Can't go in here. <laughs> like at a Ryu Q C Bream. Once Kazuo Chan hears about this, he'll be a regular for life. Hey. You're the one who bought the UQC Bream at the public market, huh? Yeah, that was me, all right. What do you ask? Somebody else had already reserved that fish. I'm gonna have to buy it back from you. No way. It took me forever to score this baby. My regular is gonna get the feast he deserves. You sure won't change your mind. That fishmonger is prepared to offer twice what you paid for it. Twice? Well, you must really want back it bad then again. I kind of, I guess I kind of bullied him into selling it. Okay, how about triple what I paid for it? 300 yen ought to be enough for me to find a good replacement fish. We could always make a trade. If you catch me a tuna or something, I'll swap for the sea bream. Fine, take it. Deal's a deal. I'm not in the mood to go all the way around just to go catch a tuna. I may be crazy. That crazy. Oh wait, I've already been in here. Oh, sorry buddy. Damn it, why can't these people just fall over? I need to push over a hundred people in total. <laughs> Such a grind. Such a grind. Haha! <laughs> Flat on your face, dumbass! Okay. Um. Okay, this one just didn't want to budge at all. What the heck is this place? Oh, it's Abisu Palm. The Pawn Shop. Okay, no key here. <laughs> Some juicy ass pedestrian abuse. Shh. Shh. Don't tell them it's me. You forgot the K. <laughs> it says Iryu chan. Kiryu chan. I don't want alcohol. Alcohol be Mendoxai. Like, as long as I keep doing side quests and keep beating people up, I'll get that money back, the 100k. Heat moves yet. She kind of sucks. Walking down the road. Dang it. Didn't fall over. No! Come on, man. I think he's throwing around like you own the place at your age. Look at these guys talking big, just because I'm some... what older. Oh, my God. 
Oops. Fine. I'll use uh, stamina and X6. Damn, wasn't in the range for the heat move. I do like parry a lot in this game. Really, oh nice, or bulk, I should say. Or the other motherfuckers. Are they actually is he actually scared? Are you shitting yourself, boy? Let's try it again. Toughness C. <sighs> okay, um I think all that's left is just heading to the left there. To get more uh Oh. Thought I could push you over, sorry. Fuck you, Osada. Ghosts, all my Kakihana. You idiot, how do you expect to deliver all those orders? So sorry, I had no idea we had so many of them backed up like that. You honestly think you can deliver these all by yourself? No. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you in a bit. First different quest. There are a lot of quests here. Side quests. Sure, this most important factor in a business like yours. Yes, sir. Definitely learned my lesson. Rest assured, I'll never let anything like that happen again. Should hope not. Here's a thou uh, the 100,000 yen for the fish. You know if any other good stuff comes in. Of course, please come again. You can't thank you enough, Kiryu san. My customer's trust is so important to me. How can I repay you? This plate has been handed down through generations of my shoulder. I'm sure it's valuable. So the plate. All's well, that ends well, right? And if you're ever in the lookout for some tasty fish, you know where to go. Yeah, experience points, stop story, devil are unlocked. So 
something wrong. It's just that this dumbbell here took on far too many deliveries than he could handle. And it's not like we have anyone else to hand uh, on hand to help either. Sorry, I caused so much trouble. Would love some tasty fish. Yeah, me too, actually. And if only I had one more person to take on deliveries, that would be so much help. But where could I possibly find someone that would help on such short notice? Yeah, might be tough. Well, never mind that. You're here for some of our delicious soba noodles, aren't you? Help deliver soba. How about it lend a hand? I'm sure you'll need all the help you can get. Would you? That would be wonderful. We just don't have enough delivery people here. You have to visit three locations. The drugstore in Karayushi Arcade, the Mayung Parlor at East Hatsumachi, and the Info Center in Hatsumachi. The soba you'll deliver is here in the boxes, so could you take them around all three locations? You've got five minutes if you want to keep our customers waiting. So hop to it. I'll pay you a part-timer's wage if you do a good job. Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Five minutes. That means I kind of have to watch out not to get, like, attacked down the road. Got here pretty quickly, too. Thanks. Smell those pork ribs. You can't beat them. Well, here's what I owe you. See you next time. Okay, next customer. Lol. Asshole! Didn't you see me cross? At least I know where the Mayung Parlor is. And I think the information center is the nightlife information center, right? The beloved pork rib noodle have arrived at last. Mmm, it smells divine. I've got to eat them at least once a week, you know. Well, here's what I owe you. Thanks for coming. Next customer is... Uh, up to the right here, I think. North of Chimachi. Uh, this club flawless. Fuck! It's here. Information center. Not a moment too soon. That's all deliveries now. Back to Okinawa. Soda joint. Soba joint. Well, you're back. I didn't expect to see you so soon. This is everything they paid. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. Really helps out of a pinch, so I'd like to give you a little something. Oh, and I threw some extra in there just to show my gratitude. Next time you visit, you can just relax and enjoy your meal, I promise. That's what they all say, but... Um... Time to buy some uh, medicine again. Can't carry more stuff. Shit. Hey, arigato. Hey, arigato. Let me see, where was the pawn shop again? Oh yeah, I know where the pawn shop is again. First, let's talk to this lady over here. Oh, it's you! You think you could give me some directions? I'm going to the station. I'm straight as an arrow. It's straight this way. Oh, really? I could have sworn it was further. Thank you so much. You're a very kind man. I, rem I remember you from before. Maybe we can be special friends? If you study more English, I'll give you a big reward. Please look forward to it. For now... Italian wallet. Would make a good gift. I'll see you next time. So that's what speaking English is like. The heck is that lady? 
Oh, pardon me. Have you seen my daughter? I can't find her anywhere. Please, she's wearing blue. Calm down. Please tell me what happened. I'm sorry. It's my daughter. I think she's lost. I just told her to stay close to me, too. I'm from Tokyo. I'm only here on vacation. I don't know this place at all. Please, could you help me look for my daughter? She can't be that hard to find. My Sakura is cute enough to be on TV. It's a child, huh? Alright, I'm in. Today I learned that you can't enjoy prawn while cutting onions. P.S. Wash your hands after cutting. <laughs> oh, Sardolf. Oh, my dude. Wearing her favorite straw hat. I told her not to leave the arcade here. So she's probably here somewhere. All right. If I see her, I'll be sure to call you over. I want you to miss her if she does come this way. So stay put, okay? <clears throat> I did... I didn't... I never actually thought someone would have an issue like that. Or something like that would happen. Ooh, I did not notice that up there. How do I get there? Her favorite straw hat, blue dress. Probably not her. Maybe it was her, but... Fuck it. I'll look around a little bit more before I... We've been making shepherd pie for hours now. Well, at least that will taste good. Right? That's important. Straw hand. Is this a little cat? Hey, is your name Sakura by chance? Right, mister, but why? I know you must have seen me on TV, right? <laughs> that woman said something about TV, didn't she? I'll go get her mother. Your mother's been looking for you. Wait here, I'll go get her. Where have you been? Who are you? Wait, are you the Sakura chan? Hold on. You said you were looking for your daughter. Is this Sakura or not? Well, that is my daughter's name. I'm Kanako Sakura. What's going on here? Tell me you didn't recognize her. She's famous TV celebrity. My daughter's a big fan. Turning into a bitter headache than I expected. But I do think that's the same hat my Sakura was wearing. <laughs> you mean this? Isn't it adorable? I swapped hats with a girl I met over there. She wanted the baseball cap I was wearing. Well, she is your biggest fan. No wonder she wants to trade. I'm sorry to bother you again, but uh, would you mind looking for my daughter again? My Sakura, I guess so. Uh, so now we're looking for a girl in a baseball cap, right? Go see if I can find her. <laughs> I made 5k G potato paste. Damn, dude, that's a lot of potato paste. Oh, yay, yay. Girl with a baseball cap. Is this the right Sakura? Hey, is your name Sakura? No, I am Kanai. Who are you? I'm looking for a lost girl. Where did you get the cap? This? There was this girl from Tokyo who said she wanted my ribbon, so I traded for me. Great. I like sports. I don't want to be girly girl. But my mom just won't listen. She keeps dressing me up in cute stuff. Okay. Thanks anyway. Now I'm looking for a girl in a ribbon. Why does this have to be so complicated? <laughs> yari yari does it. Can be absurd as Indian soap air. Yeah. But that's kind of why it's so entertaining. Sort of. It's because the plot is so fucking all over the place. And I like the fact that it makes me speculate of what's going on. Especially if you played like the other games. In the, the series. Like things just happen and there's like always something. I see a ribbon, but excuse me, uh, 
I'm guessing your name's not Sakura. Nope, I'm Tomo. Who's Sakura? Let me guess, you got that ribbon in a trade with some other girl? Hey, how did you know? Isn't it just the cutest? She wanted my animal backpack, so I swapped for a ribbon. So now I'm looking for an animal backpack. What's wrong, mister? You don't look so hot. It's nothing, I'm fine. I guess now I have to look for a girl with an animal backpack. Oh, kitty you. Kitty you, kitty you, kitty you. The things you do to be a nice person. Animal backpack. Is this finally Sakura? What's your name, huh? I'm looking for a lost girl named name is Sakura. Hey, that's my name, but I'm not lost. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go get your mother. Where on earth have you been, huh? But you told me to wait here while I did your sh while you did your shopping. I didn't know such thing. Looking for you all over this arcade, young lady. This happened last vacation too, mommy. You got totally lost, and daddy said you had no sense of direction at all, huh? No, daddy said that too. Looks like mom's the one who got lost. Anyway, she get that backpack? I traded it for it. Isn't it the cutest? It is. It wouldn't have been cheap if we brought, bought it at a retail price. That's right, I have to thank you for finding my sucker up. This isn't much, but I insist. This is at least I can do. Okay, Sakura, let's go. And don't leave my side again, you hear me? Bye-bye, mister. Sorry about my mom. Sorry about my mom. <laughs> she pulled off a lot of trades while her mother was wondering. Guess she gets her smarts from her dad. Sure, let's say about that. Forget it. Now we're going to the other side of the street, finally. I just keep running around because there's so much to do, so many quests. And side quests and things to pick up. How much is my HP is fine. God damn it! Just for one second when I don't pay attention. I really not use a... Uh, currently I couldn't with this thing. Sad. You got a premium 3000 yen. Noise. Taxi, taxi. Really care much for the caps in this game. It's not until later when they like tell you you need to use the cab a few... so many times. That I actually bother with it. Can I send items? I can, nice. Forgot that I could do that from here. Uh, yeah, we'll sell that one in a bit, actually. A gear, other. Mystery. Recovery. Need that. See if there's anything. It doesn't look like there are any key keys in M Mart, whatever it's called. Or UQ Locker Key. Excuse me, sir. You should really stay away from those lockers. And why is that? Adiko, sh shouldn't you shouldn't say stuff like that. People say that Locker 44 over there is cursed. You hear groaning and clanging noises coming out of it at night. Sorry. 
This girl loves to spread silly rumors. Don't take her seriously, okay? Let's go, you guys. Everyone knows all that stuff about horrific sounds coming out of that locker. It's all big lie. First locker, huh? Spooky. Sounds like my kind of deal. Don't these guys know that cursed items sell for very lots and lots of money? Because people are crazy bad shits. And my mate Joe Carey has mildly asparagus. Why every friend of mine in Discord has flunky flunky brain or f or f <laughs> or is a furry geek slash gay friend? Am I a magnet for such things? I think I told you this once before, Sardolf, but these days there is not a single person on Earth that is 100% normal. With that being said, people having weird tendencies in other things is like... <laughs> no, you did hear that correctly, Asperger's, that's what I said. We don't, actually, in the Netherlands, they don't use these site names anymore for them and just call it On the Spectrum. Which, uh, well, doesn't sound that much better. Hmm, there's definitely some kind of noise coming out of possibly voice. The girl mentioned Local 44. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, there's definitely a voice coming out of that. Hey, old man. Isn't it past your bedtime? You better run on home, a lot of crazy shit goes down around here at night if you catch my drift. Let's go about the rumor. These are boring. Yeah, idiots and threaten used to be medical terms. Now they are insults. <laughs> I mean, it's better to call it Asperg As <laughs> Aspergus than Asperger's, right? There's a weird sound coming from Locker 44. You boys ever heard of cursed locker rumors going around? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How the hell you know about Locker 44? Who told you? There's something suspicious going on here. Thanks for confirming that. We're gonna meet up in Istanbul at 8th of October. After game releases for my other friends. I see, okay. Street thugs. <laughs> You'll pay for this! Where are those guys up to just now? Looks like they dropped this. Got a Ryu key locker key number 44. Let's open up locker number 44. Mysterious cell phone. It's just cell phone. Now I see the picture. All those noises were coming out of this thing. Now let's go talk to this. Was it around here? God, this sucks. What's wrong? I lost a key somewhere around here. You haven't seen it, have you? A key? Can't say I have. Shit. I live on the third floor here. No, I had it when I left my place. So if I dropped it, must have done so somewhere around this building. It was when I was looking out the window. I bet I can find it if I look hard enough. Ah, now we can do first person mode. Could you let me know if you see a key around here? Thank you so much for your help. That I can actually reach places. Items that are like high up. Hey, what's that? It might be the key that this woman's talking about. Hey, you were looking for your key, right? Yes, did you find it? Maybe there's something up on the edge of the hallway on the third floor. That could be it. I'll check and see. Could you just wait here for a second? 
Look at the lady run! That was it, alright. What a dumb place to drop a key. Must have fallen when I was looking out the window. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I don't know if I could call this reward, but here. Looker key, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, if you look hard enough, you'll find them all over the place. I don't know why, but people are so careless with these things. I found this one earlier and opened the locker, but it had no use for what was in there. I bet it could come in handy for you, though. Anyway, I have to hit the road. Thank you again. Sounds vaguely illegal, but hey, no point looking at a gift horse in the mouth. Looks like I have a locker to open. So mm -hmm. Chrome Tim, that's the bastard who took our locker Oi. key. Oi, I'd appreciate it if you could give us back that locker key, big fella. That locker's really important to us. You mean the one that had his phone inside, so you opened it. Well, now that you've seen what's inside, we can't let you go unharmed. Kill him if you have to, just get that cell phone back. I mean, if you asked me nicely, I would have given you the cell phone back. With questions, obviously, but... kind of sucks. Really now? So rude these guys to make characters supernaturally powerful, isn't it? No, he has just been in a shit ton of fights over and over again <laughs> and got stronger due to all those fights. are annoying. Yamauchi! Three more to go. I really gotta buy new healing items after this. Fuckers out now. Well, what's the deal with you? How about you tell me what the deal is with the cell phone? That's uh, 
where I am not with the police. As long as you are not using this thing to hurt anybody, I might consider looking the other way. Okay, it's a modified cell phone. All calls are free, and since it's under prepaid contract, none of the data leaks leans back to a single individual. You're selling this illegally or something? That's the idea. We didn't want to chase getting caught in the act of over the goods directly, so we thought about using the locker instead. Thanks to the recent spread of the so-called cursed lockers, people have been saying staying out of our hair so far worked out great until you came along. Guess that means our business in downtown you is pretty much boned, thanks you. Well, let's get out of here, fellas. Guess they won't be making any shady deals around here for a while. I'll let slide this time. Key to you, let's things slide. They just keep giving me new side quests! <laughs> Alright, I didn't want to get to go, sorry. I want to uh, eat here. Smile Burger. <sighs> I really need to get items. We'll talk to you in a bit. I want to go and get myself recovery items. Let's see what else on the map. Two quests over there. Uh, how about I walk past you? Go in here. You grab a see. decent amount of medicine. 10? 30k. Hi, I Hi, arigato. Oh. oh, good job falling over, dumbass. Buenos dias, senor Jordina. Or Jordia, whatever. Ryukuku, local key, 42. How are you doing, Hiko? How was the stream yesterday? Did anyone from the Discord decide to stop by yet? Was like, let's shout Hiko out, because he went just live. Nice, good, glad. That's what I like to hear, Lizzie SQ and a couple of other guys, gals. Nice. That's what I like to hear. But I probably bored the heck out of them. <laughs> Aww. Poor insecure Hiko. Eleven hour stream, and I'm pretty sure pretty quits quite when thinking. Heat Action Pro. Hey, I got the achievement that I needed. Now I don't have to kill them anymore with heat actions. Well, there's the thing here. It is. At least you did stream, right? So that's something. I must say. Only 10k? Feels sad. Um. Let's go do this side guy's side quest. Then open the lockers up. Should I do? What should I say? I've got to talk to her somehow. Could you move? You're kind of blocking the restaurant. I I'm sorry. I um. Hey, at least I played with Vince a bit. He joined in midway. Nice. Were you playing purely Minecraft then? 
Huh? You okay? Please, I need your help. Tell me how to be a man. What are you talking about? I know it's a weird thing to ask as a stranger, but I don't know what else to do. Calm down. What's got you this freaked out? Nice. Glad you guys had a fun time. This on you? I just need to talk to someone about this. I'll hear you out. 11 hours of skyblock discovery and farming. Damn, dude. What's going on? So there's this girl who works at the burger joints. The moment I saw her, I was in love at first sight. I just don't know the right way to tell how I feel. I never liked anyone like this before, and when I asked my friend's school to help me, they just made fun of me. I made it to the front shop today, but I couldn't get myself to actually go in. What am I? So that's your problem? I don't know if I'll be much help. What would you do if I were in my... if it... If you were in my shoes, would you just straight up tell her how I feel, or... See. Suck it up and talk to her. Tell her how you feel. You're right, I should man up. Okay, here I go. <laughs> go for it, kid. In the end, building improvement to house. Also played all day today. The island looks sweet, nice. What'd she say? Could say it was my order, now I got an empty heart and a full stomach. <laughs> what happened? Someone else but in on your confession? No, it was all me. I tried, but I couldn't get myself to talk to her after all. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Really do need help, huh? In that case, how about let's see. Try and invite her to move me. Writing a letter is kind of, like, cringe, though, so I don't think writing a letter would work. His invitation is going to make past slips. How'd it go? Give me a sec. I got a shake with a burger combo. It was almost too much food for me to eat. How many burgers does that make now? More importantly, did you ask her about the movie? Well, she was talking to one of the other workers about how she hates going to movie theaters. It just wasn't the right time to ask her to see a movie, you know? You sure you're serious about this girl? Let's see. Ask her out. Let's keep trying. Let's walk up to her and ask her out. All you have to do is tell her you're interested. See where it goes. But I can do that. Quit whining. Of course you can do it. Straighten out that spine of yours or I'll straighten it for you. I'll give it all I've got. Here goes nothing. If this doesn't work, he's sore out of luck. How'd it go? Best I can imagine right now is ordering burgers. I didn't, don't understand how I can even eat that much. Guess it's up to me to do something. Let's see. You could write her a letter. I really don't think writing a letter is going to work, though. And if I go talk to her... Okay, you know what? You could write her a letter. Oh, no. Well, you certainly came prepared. That's gonna go bad. No, I bought a burger instead. What happened to the letter? I couldn't find the courage to give it to her. Oh my god. I'll just go tell her how you feel. Wait, what? Anywhere with this, I'll talk to her for you. Just follow me in. But... Just pipe down and follow me. <laughs> That's how it is. So, will you go on a date with him? More into mature, dependable guys like him, at least. So I'd rather go on a date with what? Well, no. Hey, it's the big idea. This isn't how it's supposed to go at all. Why am I the bad guy here? You came by half dozen times to buy burgers, but it was all because you had a crush on me. I mean, I think you're in. Eh. Then why didn't you just ask me out on a date? I'm not really attracted to guys who don't have the courage to do something like that. 
<sighs> well, take this as a life lesson. Next time, take things into your own hands and ask her out yourself. God damn it. Next time I meet the woman of my dreams, I'll ask her out, I swear. <laughs> It's such a, uh, like, it literally feels like, <laughs> sounds like me. <laughs> Fucking dumb. It's so dumb. That is such a dumb quest. Come on. Okay, now we have another side quest. A guy walking around with a bunch of... Oh yeah, wait, I was gonna go open up all lockers that I already picked up. If you have a bad day, you take your one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. Ha! Flat on his face. Ooh, there's uh, one literally up there that I can't reach. Normally, stamina royal. Broken claw. Got black jewel, which is for mini game shenanigans most likely. Toughness emperor. Block of Brass. Tarnier. Modified Lighter. Lopsided Cigarette. Minigame Shit Ancient Steel. Key collector. Got a balloon. Your average rubber balloon. Balloon! Royal Joker cards for poker. Obviously, we're not going to use that until we're actually needing. Got super resin. Balloon! Super resilient resin. Azure gem. Like in blue average. Marble. New material XX. Wristband. Oh wait, that's actually armor, right? Terrier both won't work for defense. Not fine. Blackjack amulet! Small motor. Binding. This clock moves fine, but it runs backwards. Nice. Super Resolent Reason for upgrading purposes. Definitely need a new PC for streaming. My CPU can't keep up with it. Oh, that really sucks, dude. Hyper Stun Gun. Oh, never take, uh, Higo, you should never take the volts on Twitch for grand for the quality that you actually stream. Because uh, Twitch's vault recordings, you should say, has very bad thingamajing encoding. So it always ends up looking worse than it actually is. Oh, 
I thought that was equipable. That's why I decided to record my uh, streams for the... Well, you know... Things. For the votes on YouTube. Okay, that sucks. Okay, next side quest. Excuse me, sir. Come over here for a moment. Are you talking to me? Yes, you. Please. I need your help. What's the problem? I was hoping to treat my family to some ice cream. Well, some from the shop over there. But four or six scoops special. Far more than I could carry by myself. <clears throat> and now they look like they're starting to melt. I know I shouldn't be asking a complete stranger, but please, would you help me carry them? I'm begging you. Help him. Careful not to run or bump into past buyers or you'll drop it. Think of how happy the family will be when you deliver their delicious six scoop ice cream cones to them outside the convenience store. Oh, this sounds like a terrible, terrible, terrible minigame. These people are just gonna bump right into me. What is this old fart doing? can just hold it straight. Good to know. I won't end up running. You know what? I'm just gonna walk over here. Doesn't look like there are ever people, people walking here. And the cars just don't hit me. Hopefully. I just need to make a straight line for the convenience store once I'm at that point. Watch out, we don't get bumped into. Ah, lady, piss off! Piss off! Thanks. It wasn't too bad. Whoa, you're the best, Dad. Daddy does love to spoil his little treasures. Who's oh. this gentleman? There's so much ice cream for me to carry on my own, so this nice man helped me bring it here. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you very much. There must be something we can do to repay your kindness. Oh, I know. Why don't you take this cone for yourself? You sure? It's fine. My husband and I can share one. Right, honey? Absolutely. Sharing an ice cream cone with my wife. Gosh. Reminds me of when we were just school kids on a date. See? Told you you wouldn't mind. Here it goes. All for you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> that is... Oh, that quest was horrible. Didn't like it at all. Any other new quests appeared? Yeah, all the way over there. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's see if the lady that teaches us English 
is here again. Not that means that there's probably none another one of those quests ready for a bit. There are plenty of other side quests to do though. Is he trying to commit suicide again? Oh, <laughs> uh, what did he do this time? What is it now? Here, why Takahashi-kun hasn't been coming to school lately? They say the devil cat got him. You mean the one that creeps up from behind and haunts you till you're dead? Uh-huh. They say that if it ends up following you, a horrible tragedy is bound to happen. Well, Takahashi-kun is in the hospital. I heard he got caught up in a fight or something. You think it's the devil cat's fault? It has to be, I'm telling you. That cat is nothing but bad luck. Stop it, Haruko. If the devil cat hears you, it'll come for you next. It's really too bad, because I love felines. By the way, don't a lot of cats scatter in front of the aqua sky behind the station? Yeah, the owner is always putting catnip out, so lots end up over there. The devil's cat there too, rubbing his tail with the other cat others. <laughs> the devil cat. Devil cat that brings bad luck? That's absurd. Yeah, you say it, Kiryu-kun. Behind the station. Oh, this aqua sky, okay. Let's go talk to the dude again. See if we can uh, fix his life. That guy's back again. You're back again? What's going on this time? I went and talked to a lawyer about pulling for bankruptcy, but he said I can't. He told me to work harder instead. What do you mean you can't file for bankruptcy? So because I used the loans on gambling and entertainment, I can't declare bankruptcy. And then he told me to stop messing around to take the responsibility that I deserve. So you come back to the river and decide to kill yourself? Yeah, I don't know what else I can do. I told you before dying won't help you. You took out those loans. It's up to you to find a way to pay them back. I'm sure you're right, but... That's it. Something about consolidating a bunch of different loans into one and how that might help me with my situation. What do you think? Or child could be a scam. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Guys like you are easy marks for scam artists. Think those offers are scams? I can't say for sure. But you have to watch out for yourself. If that's what you think, you son, then I'll have to think this all more carefully. That's a good idea. Remember your loans. They're your loans. You gotta take responsibility for them. <laughs> you sound like my dad. Well, thank you for talking to me again. I really appreciate it. You make me feel like I can get through this somehow. Kiryu san, I'd like you to have this. Gives me money. You got a stamina royale. I'm going to try harder from now on. Thanks again. Is he really, though? Oh, this cat really has, like, kind of scary eyes, a black cat. Meow. I think it's trying to lead me somewhere. Follow the cat. Follow the cat, Kiryux. Kiryux. <laughs> Kiryu-san, follow the cat. So you're crooked, the crooked bastard trying to steal my precious snuggles, huh? My cat asshole, the other day I caught some high school punk trying to lure her away too. Gonna pay for this, I'll teach you to keep your filthy paws off another man's pat. Oh no wonder he got beat up. Hey! 
I won't let anybody take my Mew Mew away. I'll protect you, Snuggles. I'm not trying to take anyone away. Your cat was hanging out near that bar over there. Maybe it got out on its own, huh? Is that really what happened? Sure yeah. Sorry for the trouble, buddy. I just... That my cat's such a cute, willing cuddle bug. I couldn't rule out kidnapping, you know? Take this as an apology. You look like a fellow cat, love, cat lover, so I ought to do some good. Catnip sick. I'll have a good one. So that was the devil cat. Looks like it really does bring bad luck. <laughs> clever cute you. Oh, so clever. Is that the cat again? What is this? A different cat? Yeah, does it want some catnip? Give it catnip. There you go. Meow. I think that cat wants me to follow him too. Please give me some water so I can take my medicine. Are you alright? Suddenly I start having these chest pains, but I don't have any water to take my medicine. Please help. I don't have any water. Maybe I should go buy some water. Kirio, hurry! Go buy some water! What is this store? Can I buy some water here? Cookies, shishiki, mineral water. Boom. Please, I need water. Take. Should I Okinawaya mineral water? Some water drink up. Thank you. I'm saved. Thank you very much. Phew, you came just in time. That took the pain down quite a bit. Don't overdo it, old timer. Thank you for your concern. Looks like this little fellow came to my rescue yet again. Meow. This brings someone kind and helpful whenever he sees me in pain. It's a good companion, alright. He sure is. People are always saying how black cats bring bad luck, and I can't help but wonder why. His little sweetheart's been nothing but a blessing in disguise. <laughs> oh yes, please take this for our, your wonderful help. Just an old lady's way of saying thanks. Thank you. Blessing in disguise, huh? Now that's one lucky cat. Cat power! How's my HP? My HP is doing pretty good. <gasps> ah, fuck. Just because he started walking, I thought I could push him over, but... He's one of those guys. Wireless controller is running out of battery. Look. I don't know why I'm still finishing off with heat moves, because I don't have to anymore. <sighs> that beautiful woman has to work here, no doubt about it. She works at it. Hey, kid, what are you doing? Sorry, I just, um, something wrong. Hey, you're the guy from the burger joint. What burger joint? Remember you said you'd help me get a date with that girl who worked at the burger shop, but it was total boss? Oh, right, I remember you. You're the one who practically orbiting that burger place. You sure have changed a lot, though. Never would have figured you were the same guy. Well, I fell in love with her way before you came along, but because I was for your help, she turned me down. Sniffle. I really liked her, too. So, uh, what are you doing? Kids like you shouldn't be hanging around a place like this. I know, but I just saw this incredibly beautiful woman go into that club. I wanted to see if I could talk to her. Come on, kid. Don't tell me you've fallen for a bona fide hostess now. 
She looks so gorgeous, just like a movie star. There's something about her that the girls in my class just don't have. Mature feminine charm. It's gotta be it. That's why I changed my up my outfit, look a bit more grown up. Be a real man worthy of a real woman like her. What do you think? Got this cat up from the store over there. Is that how it is? I mean, you don't look too bad. She's older, so maybe she can teach me all sorts of things about romance. Or maybe just even about adult stuff. Does it matter? In any case, she shouldn't block the entrance of the club. You'll only cause trouble. Guess you got a point. I wouldn't want to make trouble for that beautiful woman anyway. I'll wait on the other side. Good grief. Give me kid's still looking at me. How long are you going to wait out here? I wonder when this club closes. At least she's free after work. Do you know when it closes? No idea. Don't keep track of that stuff. If I were old enough, I could go visit her in the club. You're so lucky that you go get to go in. Look, that's her. That's the gorgeous woman I saw earlier. This time I talked to her on my own. Excuse me. Well, wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Talk to me, hun. Um, well, I... This boy is yours. No, he's not. He wants to talk to you, though. I just thought you saw me. For me, honey. I'm a grown woman. I need a little bit more than that in my love life. As much as I appreciate the thoughts, I'm more interested in a date with this handsome man right here. Work here at this club. I'd be really happy if you came to see me sometimes. I'll make it worth your while. What? Again. Ugh. Hate you. You got 2,000 experience points for making a kid hate you. Good job, kid you. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Oh, that's why I love these Yakuza games, man. There's just no limit to the amount of awkward situations you can be put into. <sighs> Lovely. Kind of makes your heart skip a beat. Turn. Ah, uh, okay, no, never mind. I can't walk in there normally, so there's probably no key to find. No keys! What ah! Oh, you didn't fall. Sad face. Why are you clapping? Someone intent. Wait, who the fuck are you? It's every single time that I walk there that that guy is like approaching me and I don't know why. I don't know why you always get so insecure. I wish you could see. Oh, fuck. It's another thug. So sorry, it wasn't nothing personal. Now listen, Yoko, never came home yesterday. I know you girls are with her a lot, so please, do you happen to see my daughter anywhere? She forgot something at school yesterday and went back for it. That's the last time I saw her. 
from cessation. She never came home. Yoko doesn't seem like the type that would run away. She was kidnapped by the Phantom Tour Guide. How to go, don't say that, especially not in front of her mom. What is this Phantom Tour Guide all about? It's just silly rumor going around like an urban legend or something. Don't worry about it. There might be some truth to it. It's the shopkeeper in the area and he said he saw a high school girl walking with a foreigner yesterday. Could that high school girl have been my Yoko? But that phantom stuff gotta be a rumor. People were vanishing around travel agency. It would have been a huge news story by now. I suppose you're right, but still, a high school girl walking with for with a foreigner? That could have something to do with my Yoko. Are we just gonna, like... Travel agency? Hey, I'm Tom. If you want to see military base or get to know this place, then I'm your go-to guy. How about it? I could show you a nice barbecue spot. Their service is the best in town. There are rumor about being people being abducted by a foreign phantom or something in front of the station. How about it? I'll give you a fine tour. Accept this offer. Show me around town. That's what I liked here. You look like a drinking man. How about I take you to a special dual tour today? What do you think? Pretty happening place, huh? And that special cocktail will have you feeling fine in no time flat. Pretty good. That's right, drink up, feel the liquid enhancement. And once that nice sake kicks in, I'll let you tour some nice beaches, if you know what I mean. Yeah. What the... Hardly drank anything and I already feel so... Uh. <laughs> Put enough shit in there to knock out five horses. Nighty night, motherfucker. Nighty night, motherfucker! I thought I told you to target girls. What the hell am I supposed to do with this giant oaf? Sorry, Chief, but hey, he's a hef he's a hefty dude. I'm sure someone would pay good money if for a guy like him. So, who's paying good money for me now? Oh, shit! Dude, you drank enough Trank to knock out a sumo wrestler. Just what kind of monster are you? So, that's your game. You pretended like you're nice, helpful tour guide that kidnapped girls for profit. You're the monsters here. You're gonna pay. Damn it, he's hip up to the game now, boss. Are you going to. How are we getting out of this one? We'll slit this bastard's throat. Keep him quiet, that's how. Suspicious man. You guys think you can, like, beat Kiryu? Kiryu of Dojima? Henry, Red, and Tom. In the knackers. Suck it, Henry. TV on the face. Suck it, you bastards. You are one crazy bastard. You kidnapped a girl, didn't you? Where is she? Talk. All, all right. Thank you so much. I thought I was going to die. You're safe now. Now, how should I deal with these idiots? Maybe I should give the local police a call. So, it, you dinks. Yoko, you're all right, mom. I, I was so scared. You ever worry me like that? You hear me, young lady? Never. Can't thank you enough. Looks like this two-bit crime syndicate was abducting tourists and forcing them to work or worse. This type of activity isn't easy to track down in this town like this. 
It's despicable how they took advantage of the people's trust here. Yeah. Hope they stay locked up for a long, long time. Ever since the Phantom Tour Guide rumor started, it's gaining momentum. The new of tourists in this area has dwindled dramatically. That's why the syndicate started preying on local high school girls. Talk about a couple of twisted minds. Indeed. In any case, your cooperation has been vital in bringing this operation down. We really appreciate it. Don't realize how much this means to me. I just don't know what I'd do without my little girl. Please, take this as a token as my thanks. Um, I was about to say, can I press start, please, so that I can do some upgrades? <sighs> 50 for this one. Guess we're gonna upgrade or heat for a bit. It's not too bad to get that fixed up. Really hate that kind of shit. Tabichi. Arigato. Okay, there are more side quests to do. Like, the side quests just keep popping. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be from around here, would you? Well, actually, yeah, I guess I am. Oh, wonderful, then. Would you happen to have seen the Shisha statue? We've been looking for the one in this photo for a while now. Shisha statue. You know, it looks kind of like a cross between a lion and a dog. Apparently, they're a big thing here. People put them by their front door or on their roof to ward off evil. I know what they are. But why do you need a particular one in the photo? Long story short, we went here on our honeymoon last year and decided to buy one as a souvenir. What we didn't realize at the time is they usually come in a pair. We'd really like to complete the set, seeing as it's uh, common rates our wedding after all. But the shop where we bought, it, bought our shisha last year went out of business, and I don't know if they sell the kind we have anywhere else. I think I get the picture. The one in the photo has his mouth open, but it, the one we're looking for has his mouth closed. So you need a closed mouth shisha. Is that it? Exactly, the one with an open mouth and one with a closed mouth, that would give us a complete set. I feel a little silly asking a total stranger, but if you n happen to see a shisha like this, would you mind letting us know? Here, take this photo. If you find one, could you please give us a call? Our phone number's on the back. Don't worry, we'll make it worth your while if you find the right one, please. Doesn't sound too hard. Then again, I'm not 100% sure. I still haven't found that other item for the guy yet. That is in depth. Even though it's supposed to be on my beach, like where I, where Kiryu lives, I live. But uh, can't really actually find it. Apparently, I can't push him over when he's, like, walking. Haha, <laughs> you actually fell down. To do this, but I'm gonna need your wallet. Fuck this, Yakuza punk. Jibada! Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. 
Shisha, though. This Shisha statue. Do need to find one for the couple, but this isn't it. Shisha looks a lot like the one in the couple's photo. Better give the two a call. I didn't expect to find this one so easy. Hey, I'm the one you gave the Shisha photo to? Oh, you mean you actually been looking for it? Yeah, and I found one that looks just like it. Can you come check it out? Yes, absolutely. We'll be right there. Yeah, we're nice like that. Yeah, over there. Not quite right. See, look carefully. Now that you mention it, it's okay. Shisha statues can look a lot alike. If you find one in the photo, please do give us a call. Okay, so... It's a little bit hard to find. Can we actually, like, see that photo? Substories, substories. Shisha shakedown. No, we can't. <laughs> why is this one a star and why is this one different? It's a cat. Neko Neko. What was I doing again? Oh, there was a quest nearby. Ha! Oh. It's like I've always wanted to try a glass of Goya juice from here, and guess that's not happening. Shop's been closed like forever, hasn't it? Wonder why. It's like it's in the perfect spot. My grandpa told me about it before. He said their juice was so healthy that it could heal any sickness. How come it closed then? Maybe this mythical Goya juice was so incredibly harsh on the tongue that nobody could drink it. After all, it is it is Goya we're talking about. Did you know that Goya Goya's good stir-fried if you add a little mayonnaise? That cancels out the bitter taste. Are you nuts? The whole point of eating Goya is because it is so bitter. That's why it's called bitter melon. Four hours of making shepherd pie I deserve this entertainment since my feet are in pain for standing forever. You did you do deserve some entertainment, Sardolf. I'll I will be your excellent entertainment. Anyway, enough with all the Goya gobbly gook. This place is gone for good, so let's just grab some Goya burgers instead. Mythical Goya juice, huh? Wonder if there's any if it's any good. Is anyone there? I want to get some Goya juice. Looks like the kid wanted to try some of the mythical Goya juice himself. What's wrong, kid? I really, really need some Goya juice, and it has to be from here. Any reason it has to be from this shop in particular? Um, well, my mom's got really sick and ended up in hospital, so I wanted her to get better. I heard people say if you drink the Goya juice from the shop, it'll cure any sickness you have. The kids in my class say it's all a lie, but even so, I still want to get some for my mom. All I care about is seeing her healthy again, I see. Doing what you can, huh? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's look around for the shopkeeper together. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, anyone in there? Hello? Goodness, what's with all the racket? We've been closed for years now. Did you use to run the shop, ma'am? Sorry to bother you, but could you make this kid a glass of your special Goya juice? That's what you all came for. Hmm, I don't know. His mother is hospitalized with some kind of illness, and all she needs is a little bit of juice to help her get back to normal. Please, make some for my mom. I just know it'll make her better. Well, if you put it that way, how can I say no? But you gotta bring me the right ingredients. I'll need some Goya, Kuduzata, Bansai, Dugwai, and Lemon. <laughs> you hard hearing, young man? I need five ingredients. Goya, Kuduzata, Basaina, Dugwai, and Lemon. I can use ingredients similar to those two. If you manage to scrooge up something better, 
but that can get awfully pricey. I think she was using Okinawan words. I used to hear my grandpa talk like that every now and then. Goya means bitter lemon, but I don't know any of those other things she said. The public market has a shop that sells healthy stuff. I bet we can find anything. Well, might as well head to the public market and see what I can find. Yeah, I bet there are people that were willing to help me. After all, I am Jinyu Kazuma! Ah! Man, I did not have to be so loud about that. Gotta go into the Rido office. Okinawa is Loki, Texas of Japan. I mean, I guess. <laughs> But at least, at least they're not... Having all the incest, like in Texas. Or was that the different area? I thought that was Texas. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't... <laughs> throwing stereotypes like that around. Oh, yeah, it's Alabama. Never mind. Sorry, everyone that's from Texas for offending you. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> uh, was I saying again about making jokes that were not good? I shouldn't be doing that. And what does Yordi do? Make dumbass jokes. Okay, let's try this one. Slightly more green, so maybe this one works. Chisha. At least they're grateful that we're looking for it. Wait, did we... Oh, wait, this might actually be the one. These are a little bit rusty looking, like... In the photo. It's just kind of annoying that I can't look at the photo anymore. Wait, maybe I can and I've just been a dumbass. Valuables. Hey! Okay, maybe not. This one is a little bit more greenish. Like the one in the photo, though. I know that these two weren't the ones. These do look a lot more green around the collar, don't they? Sweet home Alabama. Mushy mushy. Moshi Moshi. Okay. Not that one either. It's probably too easy if they were actually in this area, right? Those weren't the ones, I already checked those. Enter. Oh. Ah, fucking... Yakuza scum. Yeah. 
mass produced blade. Thanks for the money, bitch. Okay, let's go in here. This Pretty good, huh? I like to talk to you. Welcome. Let's see, bye. Can't take any more. Ah. Muda, 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 muda. This old man be uh, angry, mate. Tuna slap. Sorry, give me a break. Old magazines. See anyone that I can talk to in here? Ah, uh, here, maybe this lady. Now, have you... We have some special health food items in stock for a limited time only. Take a look, sir. I do I written Mendoxe <laughs> Gotta go fucking stash some shiza. Me heal up a little bit. Soki. Soba. Soki soba! Save points. Ice, ice, baby. Fuck's this? Oh, that's nothing. Just run straight past the save point. GG already. Check item box. I need five items, right? So I might as well stash this. Sumimasen. Konnichiwa. <laughs> he didn't fall over though, sad face. Still need to make people fall flat on their ass. Like that. Okay. Ugh, again? Again? Forgiveness filled scene. <sighs> there are races in this game. Yeah, yeah, we got some black people. Uh, 
We also just got some other foreigners from Bitter Lemon. Brown Sugar. This is gonna suck. Uh, I need to... Sub story. Shisha Shakedown. I need to buy some Goya, Lemon, Kuruzata, Basanai, and Dogwai. Is there a description here, maybe? Refreshing local water, salt, brown sugar, sugarcane, aloe, islands, eggs, peanuts, hot peppers, shikwasa. Please come again. Items. Oh, sub stories. Was there. Did I need Shikwasa? No. Uh, I think I'm gonna look this up actually. Can't, like, put my brain around that. Okay. Um. Kuruzata. Brown sugar, okay, that's Kuruzata. Then we have Basainai, what's that? For bitter lemon juice, side story. Has this happened to you, Yordi, and like hearing people butchering words in your mother language? No. Dugwai is aloe. Okay, banana, you can replace it with the more expensive island banana. Okay, so one brown sugar. Aloe. And bananas. That's everything. Into a shikwasa. Okay, got what I came for. But yeah, I don't have that issue. The Netherlands is too small of a country to give a fuck about. Means aloe? Or knew that. Kuruzato, this should be sweet and delicious. Brown sugar. It's fine lemon indeed. At least lemon's still lemon. That's an easy one. Look at this. Some nice looking bonsai. Sweet and delicious, I'm sure. Bonsai means bananas. I can I can kinda see that. So you brought all the ingredients. Good. Now I can whip you up a nice batch of Goya juice. Don't you worry about a thing. Thank you so much. Here you are. One fresh serving of Goya juice made just for you. The bonsai and dung wire are very important ingredients too, you know. Don't forget that. I'm gonna take this right to my mom. Thank you so much, ma'am. And you too, mister. It was really kind of you. I'm sure that juice will help the kid's mom get better. Well, aren't you the kindest fellow, honestly. I felt right proper making a big batch of Goya juice after all this time. Folks reckon my juice packs a mythical medical punch that'll cure any sickness, but to tell you the truth, there's nothing really mysterious about it no more. You see, back in my day, bonsai lemons and dungwai were so darn expensive, almost no one could afford them. Just so happened our Goya juice was the healthiest thing around, but these days, nearly anyone can get their hands on those ingredients. So that kid, I'm sure, still mythical remedy is well needed. Nothing could have been better. Even though you stopped making it years ago, a lot of people are still talking about it. <laughs> that alone tells me it's something incredible stuff. Thank you for lifting an old woman's spirit. 
Now, I gave all the juice to that boy, but this also fixed you up right quick. Stamina Royale, thank you. Goodbye and good luck to you. You got 3,000 experience points. Okay, another side quest has appeared on the map. So is this the prequel to Fruit Ninja? God damn it, Sardolf. Chick Shaw Conareo. That face dead end. Then end in a show. We see the body duck duck. We see the hari duck duck. It's better me to go down. Push a poor split in the new stair if a rick now. Oh, wait, I didn't know that this was here actually. Never mind. It's a button. Yardy's just crazy. Yuki Shoki. Did I ever go in here to see if there were keys? Keys. Key. Ah, no. There is a key. Fruto Ninja. Menasai old timers, go Menasai. Much HP, got plenty of HP. Was a inside here? Ice curry moo. Ice curry moo. Okay, so nothing there. We've been past here already like fifty times, so I doubt there's. Uh... Man, it's stone market. What the fuck was this place again? Oh yeah, I remember now. Place to spend all of them monies. How many more mysteries are there to solve? Excuse me, sir, I'll take one coral love necklace, please. Coral love necklace, is it? That'll be 3,000 yen. Oh my gosh. What'd you buy that necklace for? You're gonna ask somebody to go steady, aren't you? Is it Oyamada Senpai from the Trek Club? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. It's the tutor, isn't it? I saw the way you were stealing glances at him. Really? How'd it go? Come on. Fills in on the beats. They say whoever has a special love coral will never be turned down. So you're basically guaranteed a boyfriend. Would you guys stop it already? Let's just go eat some burgers and go home. Necklace do seem pretty popular these days. How about a coral love necklace for you, sir? Made with the genuine Okinawa coral. 
got plenty in stock, but they won't last long. Those must have been necklaces those high schoolers were talking about. In fact, it's been making big waves on the internet lately. It's even considered something of a spiritual ass, sorry. As you can see, this necklace is made from genuine hermatypic coral weathered to a fine sheen. This process helps the coral release beneficial negative ions. Just keeping one of the special coral necklace on your person is said to bolster your luck in love and money too. You know what? Sure, let's buy one. It's only 3,000. Thank you, sir. Here's your brushed coral love necklace. May it bring you only the best of fortune. Is this thing really gonna make me lucky? I'll admit I have my doubts. Oh, it's not even a equip item. It's, uh... Now I guess I just need to walk somewhere and then someone is gonna be like, Ah, oh, well, Nani Desuka! Komare yo baka! Punch in the face, something like that. At least that's what I'm... Ah! Oh, excuse me. No, it was my fault. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Hope I didn't knock you into you too hard. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, not at all. And by the way, I couldn't help but notice that necklace you have there. It's lovely. It's me and the coral love necklace. Guess I should be going. She's actually noticed my necklace. Maybe that salesman was telling me true was true. True. Truth. Hmm? My wallet. That woman must pickpocket. Just lift the... 50,000 yen right out of m under my nose. So much for being lucky. I'd be improving my luck just throwing this thing away. Oh. I gotta find the lady again and beat her up. She stole. Oh. Stupid necklace doesn't work at all. To put this thing on, my luck's only gotten worse. First I lost my wallet, then my tutor flat out rejects me. What else could possibly go wrong? I'm sorry to hear that, but... I don't care about your apologies. All I want is my money back. So here, take this worst piece of junk. I offer my deepest sympathies, young lady, but unfortunately we cannot accept you as kids. I can tell you where the company that makes these necklaces is located. How about taking your complaint there instead? I don't know how you people stay in business! Hey, mind if I ask you something? Oh no, don't tell me you want to return your coral. No, I just want to say that it looks like these things don't really work in the first place. You'll have to forgive me, it's just that I've been up to my ears and customers asking their money back. Demanding I take responsibilities. These necklaces have been nothing but trouble since the day I started carrying them. If there's so much trouble, then why don't you stop telling people they're bringing to love and money? I surely wish I could, but I'm afraid it's not that simple. What do you mean? This necklace is sort of the hottest thing going right now, and since the manufacturer is having such a hard time keeping up with demand, I can barely even keep them in stock. After weeks of begging and pleading with them, they finally let me order other shipments, but only under certain conditions, such as, well, I'm obliged to tell potential customers these necklaces will help them trick love, luck, and a whole slew of other random nonsense their lives. And if I don't say such things, I have been threatened with penalty fees and all sorts of other consequences. I wish they'd just sell out already. See, now if you have a complaint file, would you mind taking it directly to the manufacturer instead? Where can I find the manufacturer? There's a building with a stairwell just south of the Ryudo family office. The manufacturer office is on the second floor of that building. Please go there. If you are experiencing furniture issues or are otherwise dissatisfied with your purchase, just to make sure, the second floor of the building south of the Ryudo family office. Alright then. Time to beat up some punks! These assholes are like... Just using the fact that you have that necklace to... Steal from you at the same time. Fucking assholes. They like targeting these people with the necklace. There must be some kind of tracking device in it as well. That would be fucking hilarious. Uh, no, this is not where I'm supposed to go. South Island. Need to go a little bit further. Well, at least that's another one for my uh, 100 count. Throwing people on the floor. This 
stairwell south of the Ryudo. Here. Oh, wait, Ryudo. This is not Ryudo. This is the Tatsumaki. Baka. Dummy, dummy. Dummy, yo. Dummy, dummy, you. Dunny, dunny. Dunny, dun. Dunny, dunny, dunny. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Game runs at the present, right? Uh, this is 2009. I'm telling you, this necklace doesn't work at all. I see. If you haven't noticed any positive facts, then it could mean one thing. You must have been possessed by an evil spirit. Wait, that can't be right. How is that even possible? If you already pressured one of our patent pending coral necklaces, I'd be willing to cleanse that spirit for you. Special discount rate, of course. Well, not a chance. I'm never f using this stupid necklace again. You have a minute. Yes, how may I help you? I want to talk to you about this coral necklace. Oh, of course, sir. Please step right into our office. So, what is this you want to know about our coral love necklace? I was told the thing would bring me luck with love and money. This, that, uh, is there any truth to that? Of course there is. We've received countless thank you letters and emails from all over Japan. Somehow I don't buy that. Haven't your finances and romantic opportunities risen drastically since your purchase? If not, then might I suggest holding out a little longer? You see, statistics compiled by our data analytics have shown that over 99% of our customers are completely satisfied with the product. If it is indeed a refund you want, we'll be more than happy to assist you. But before that, I do feel obliged to tell you why you haven't noticed any of the trademark effects. Let's hear it. It's very possible that you have an evil spirit corrupting your natural energies. Huh? You mean I'm possessed? Tajima-sensei, would you kindly come here for a moment? Hi. Certainly. What seems to be the matter here? Our customer hasn't experienced any of the amazing benefits of our product. As to offer, perhaps you could examine him. Ah, then I shall begin cleansing immediately. 2009? Is this the same year as the release? I don't actually know. Oh, he's got an evil spirit, all right. Big one, too, since it bears deep hatred for the love of Coral's unquestionable spiritual properties. If you'd like, Tajima-sensei could rip that spirit right off you. We're offering this service a special price of 50,000 yen. Turn the necklace. Forget it. I'm here to return this necklace for a refund. I'm afraid we can't do that in this case. Happy to provide refunds for faculty merchandise, but the root of this problem is clearly an evil spirit. Stop giving... You to run around and give me my money instead. You can have your worthless trinket back. Why aren't you persistent? Gentlemen, it seems we have a dissatisfied customer on our hands. Appreciate it if you'd show him out to the door. Huh? You're interfering with our business, tough guy? Well, I suggest you <laughs> be more appreciated of all the hard work that went into making this necklace and get gone. Nice. Not oh, without my money. Okay. Ask you nicely. Now I'm gonna have to Go hermetepic on your ass and bury your remains in a reef. Or you, Q man. Explains the edginess. I mean, I like it, honestly. Oops. These guys 
just corner ganking my ass. Compulsive Vandal. Uh, let's use the toughness scene. Sega! I I'm so sorry. What an absolute disaster. Tell me the truth about these next losses. These claims you've been making are completely bogus, aren't you? It's just as you suspect that our coral love necklaces don't actually possess any sort of power. Simply harvest coral from beneath the Okinawa Sea and craft it into necklaces. Which my hair hasn't really gone through any spiritual training either. We just slap some obscure looking bubble on him. For that extra mythical touch. Please don't send me to the afterlife, I'm begging you. So basically you're just a couple of scam artists, huh? I should have known. Please take this, it's the pressure price of your necklace along with some money for all the trouble we've caused. I hope you can find in your heart to keep us under wrap. It may seem like a swindle to you, but this necklace was originally meant to give to people. To give people hope and lift their spirits. We've had many customers tell us it's given them the courage to express their feelings of love to someone. Help them get through their day at work. Please don't take that magic away from them. Well, it's up to the individual if they want to believe the stupid story about some sponge type creatures scrubbed off the ocean floor. But you need to stop forcing, shop, forcing shops to lie. If we do that, none of these will sell. And our business would sink to the bottom of the sea. You said that the coral in this necklace is authentic Okinawa coral, right? It's actually a pretty nice piece of work. Of course it is, and Okinawa coral is the best in the world. And focus on quality of your product. It's, if you sell it honestly without making false claims, you shouldn't have to dole out any refunds. So long. Wait, what is it? I want to say thank you. You're giving me the courage to try this new angle. It's an honest everyday life as sorry. Sure. Looking forward to when it hits shelves. So many side quests. Okay, what is this time? Golden Agu is supposed to be super tasty. I heard my mom talking to all our friends about it. Agu? You mean pork, right? Never heard of any Golden Agu before. They say it'll make you beautiful if you eat enough. It's choke full of collagen, which makes your skin brighter and healthier too. And I've even heard it helps you lose weight since it has some kind of fat burning nutrient. And they're selling it at public markets. They got pretty much everything there. Uh, pork that makes you beautiful just by eating it. That golden ugly sure must be something. Golden agu. Now we gotta go through the entirety of the golden market to see where. Oh, there it is. I know. Haven't you gotten any golden agu here? You know, the pork that keeps being featured on TV. Hmm, I've never seen this golden agu myself. Even regular agu pork. Very hard to come by, you know? A perfect timing. Aren't you Riki chans little friend? Kid you. Kid you chan, that's right. How silly of me. I'm more of a face person when it comes to remembering people. So, Kiryu chan, would you happen to know where they might be selling some golden agu? I've been looking everywhere for it. Hmm. Sorry, but I wouldn't know. Well, uh, I figured. What's with you being from Tokyo and all? That you know more than most. But that's too bad. Do you happen to come across a place that's selling golden agu? Promise me you'll tell me first. Golden Agu. A place that sells golden agu. Like, it just sounds like a ripoff, even for like uh, 2020 standards. A lot of customers are looking for the so called golden agu lately. Is that so? Yeah. Saw it on TV, but I haven't a hard time believing it's a genuine agum pork from Okinawa. I mean, it's prime pork we're talking in here. It's not the kind of meats you'd find at your average butcher shop either. Specs are limited to experimental livestock stations. So the other day, some of us public market vendors sat down together and had a little talk about the school and agu, right? We all pitched in and bought some just to try it, and you know what? It doesn't smell or taste like genuine agu pork. In the slightest, it was as plain as could be. 
Now I hear there's company selling this golden agu via mail order. It's a building just a hair northeast of club called Flawless Office on the second floor. Place over at North Hatsumachi. Yeah. You know, that place with the flashy pink entrance just northeast of that. You can't miss it. Wait, it's imposters like these who are hurting the local Okinawan economy. So if you manage to track down these phony pork peddlers and give them what for, I'd be willing to give you a reward. Let's go! Beating up people again! Yay! <laughs> this is legit almost all we do. We just, like, here there's some trouble, then we go to the place where there's trouble and beat up the people that are, like, making trouble. Motherfucker. Okay, he just throws himself on top of me. That's not very nice. He's just gonna keep on throwing himself on top of my ass. That's not really what I'd like to see. No. Go away. Yeah, bitch, like you would run. Yeah, I'm not in the mood. Fight your yes, bitch you asses. Ooh, that's a blue one. Stone order. Jimaji Tofu. We're almost done with this uh, restaurant. That's pretty chill. I do hope we get like the opportunity to buy more from one place than just one thing. Or drink and one thing. At some point, because otherwise it's just gonna take a fucking long ass time to get all the stores done. Ha uh ha ha ha. Okay. Hey, stop. No. No. Go away. Huh? There's something on the reel. That one is the actual one, I think. That one is definitely green and gray. Green and green. That's it. It's a spitting image of the one we have at home. To find it here of all places. Don't you feel a little sorry for it? It's been searching for its partner this whole time. Well, why don't we ask these people if they'll let us buy it? Thank you so much. It's a whole lot of... It's not a whole lot, but please take this. That is quite a lot of money, uh, mate. Close enough to welcome a new little creature into our lives, maybe next year. You don't mean a baby? Then I guess all the three of us will have to come back to Okinawa for a family trip. That's not a bad amount of money. If I do say so myself. Pay the Golden Agu Company a visit. Excuse me, I want to ask you something about the golden agu you've been selling. Who we'll let you in here? And what the hell is this golden agu you speak of? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Oh, boss, new guy, great timing. It's just received word that a utility-grade pork shipment arrived from both China and Australia without a hitch. So what should we label our mystery meat this time? I know we've been calling it Golden Agu, but how about bumping it up to platinum status? Oh, I'll go well go over well you absolute quit do you not know how to close your mouth when outsiders are around come on boss isn't this the new guy i mean he sure doesn't look like he's up and up about our little operation but i'm sure we can film it you know what um out of here if you have any special inquiries talk to my assistant you're not getting anywhere until i get the truth now come clean about the pork or prepare to get pork chopped Yakuza? You're Yakuza? I don't believe that one bit. You look more like just a fat pig to me. Not very tasty pork. Just like the shit you're selling. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. I don't know if there's such a thing. Now answer my question. What's the deal with the golden por agu pork I keep hearing about? Do I need to spell it out for you? Golden agu is a sham, my friend. We buy the pork cheap from China and Australia, then we roast it up and glaze it, and no one knows its difference. Selling this shit on the internet with a flashy brand name rakes in 10 times the profit. So that's what this is about. Yeah, and now that you know, how about laying off, huh? After all, sucker deserves what sh what they get. What a filthy, filthy man you are. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Local Okinawans are working themselves to the bone to raise up authentic agu pork, and I won't let a coward like you sully their reputation. Oh yeah? And who the hell are you old hacks supposed to be? The local chapter of the pork patrol? Ha! Huh. Suggest you show some respect and apologize. Maybe when pigs fly, when it comes to the locals who work hard to raise their food, you better watch out. Compared to what they are capable of, what I did to you was nothing. Out with it. We want public apology, and that's just the beginning. Forgive me, I've been nothing but selfish, greedy hog. Thanks to you, we finally figured out secret behind the porcine phenomenon. Indeed, we appreciate your help, but aren't you a tad disappointed? be getting any prettier by eating high quality pork kiryu chan <laughs> guess i am the other butchers and i would like you to have this as a token of our gratitude jesus a lot of money we'll be reporting this swindle to the police now thanks again easy guess not all that glitter is gold even if it's carved off the belly of a pig Ooh, 5k that's a nice amount of money. Uh, white Tiger Spirit taunts an enemy with the spirit of a white tiger, boosts morale, and increases your heat gauge. Increases maximum heat gauge. Uh, yeah, let's go with body first, and then we'll do the soul. Okay, anything else? No. Okay, so that all that's left must be sub stories. I wonder why this one just has a Finky. And these have stars. Then again, I don't really give a fuck. This did our treasure. And straight to the top. Let's do some of that actually. South Island. Good morning, Kiryu san. First, let's take a walk around the floor and then we can get down to business.
do two tips and free time. Do not repeat any training on a single shift, as it will always fail. Once you unlock the new, the progression should be lecture, free time, relax. Okay. Refinement to the max. Refined girl. Refined. Okay, it seems like refinement is the way to go. Like a laid back, refined girl. Refinement and modesty. Let's see if there is a key here, but nope. Okay, so refinement. <laughs> Mature dress, probably. Refinement sounds like a, a good one for maturity. At least I think. Between each service round, you can conduct training. Training allows you to improve the service stat of the hostess, so it's important to train consistently. Looks, smart and charisma, as well as motivation and stress can be affected by training. All are important factors when taking customer service into account. Some customers may pay more attention to these subtle details as opposed to what outfit she's wearing. After all, it's what's on the inside that counts. However, please be aware that excessive training will make hostess stress out. This can be remedied by having a hostess rest during break. You both coordinate and train to cultivate the hostess. Um. Let's give training a try. Okay, first things first. Outfit selection. Revealing beautiful standard. Standard dress. That's linked to the max. One piece dress. Guess that's this one then. But I can't change the color yet. Just... Finish. Continue with this outfit. Oh. Ikanji. Yeah, refinement the cute went absolutely bonkers. Okay. Training. Talking tips. Uh, it's give you some core conversation tips to help to captivate the customer. Sounds good. I know captivating enough. Haha, <laughs> for real though. Voyeurs. All right, I think you pretty much got it down, do I? Oh, I mean, yeah, of course, thanks. <laughs> Charisma went up, stress went up. So the next stage we need to do free time. Go to the club. Okay, let's have a little bit of look around. Nice, gorgeous girl, nothing like a girl with culture. She's fine. She's a girl with culture, gorgeous, gorgeous. For the next stage, it's a good one. Uh, gorgeous is not too hard to like bring out. Refined woman is like unicorn. They don't simply exist. Nothing like a girl with culture. Yeah, I think that's fine enough. Okay, next round. Training. Free time. Whenever you like, you definitely earned it. Thanks, you wouldn't happen to have a phone charger lying around, would you? So you can relax a little bit. Get her stress down. Did you make the most of your time? You seem pretty energetic. Yeah, totally. Ready to get back into the fray. Nice. Smarts went up. The C, that's not bad. Okay, dress up. Because next round is a gorgeous outfit selection. We don't have to change anything, it's just the dress that we need to change every now and then. Depending on what the... What everyone wants. 
go to the club. There's one person that wants refinement, but most of them wanted to uh, platonic ideal woman gorgeous. Flashy girls are the platonic ideal womanhood. Gorgeous gal, platonic, probably sexy, that's what that means. Bring out a flashy girl. Flashy, perfect. Flashy probably does mean sexy. Gorgeous. There's more people asking for sexy than for uh, gorgeous this time, or refined. So I think we need to go with sexy next turn. Okay, training. Don't do the same two once uh, in a row, because that will fuck things up. Trivia drills. Okay, today we're going to study a little trivia. No matter what the conversation, it's always important to be smart about what you say. Knowledge is power, right? Knowledge is power. I like that. I can use that sometime. Okay, let's do it. All right, that should be more than enough. Bet you could win a quiz uh, show after all that. Okay, that went good. Smarts went up. Wow, I'm actually already flashy. Like, very flashy. I don't think we need to change her dress at all. Go to the club. Flashy. Fashion trends. Flashing trends. Flash. 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 Yeah, I think this is fine. That should be it, right? Great hustle out there, kitty son. Come help us out again sometime. Total sales, 2 million. Kitty has individual sales. Remaining balance. Nice. Going well, going well. Okay, let's go in again. Do it a few times. <laughs> Gotta be smart. That's the only way to survive in this world. Smart hostess. Well, it's good that I've been training her smarts, I guess. Brains over beauty, that's what I always say. Ladies gotta be smart, that's the only way to survive in this world. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a complicated one, I can tell. It's a girl I've heard so much about. Hmm. Who are you? Keiko. What more do you need to know? Anyway, I heard you're aiming to take the number one spot here. It's pretty edgy for a couple of newcomers. Must be quite talented, more or less. Yeah. Well, I can tell you're both pretty ed new at this. Your hospitality is missing something. Really? Mm hmm Hostess surf skills are her livelihood. You see, you'll need to work with what she's got to reach the top. That said, you should be training as much as you can during your downtime and match your customers' preferences. So what you're saying is, I should be inspecting the customers in the club and train during break. That's exactly it. Oh, but don't always train the same skill. Variety is the spice of life, after all. Now, get out there and make some magic happen. No, we're not going to get out there yet. I still need to think. Mission 2. Giving customers good service can be broken down into two simple steps. First, walk around the club and observe your customers' preference. Then head back to the break room and give your host some training. Let's all turn to it. Let's get to it. I've already looked that up pretty much. Um, accessories. Let me see, because owned. Oh, uh, watch was a simple watch. Ring is the heart ring. We never ended up buying that, but we are going to do that right now. Nails, gorgeous nails. We got that. Necklace, simple or with jewelry? We just went for the simple one. We might unlock new things soon, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. 
earrings were petite so that's good uh, smarts it didn't say anything about the looks so maybe the one piece no let's just keep it up this one it's fine the gorgeous Ejnai refines went up. Motivation went up. That's nice. Training. So did we unlock new things? No. Uh, starting with trivia drills. Never do the same one twice in a row, though. Oh, that didn't work. Stress went up, nothing else went up. Oh. I think I might have fucked up there. Maybe I should have done something else in the meantime. Shit, Kirie. Intelligence goes a long way. Kirie doesn't have anyone there, that sucks. All I wanted was a smart girl. I need a girl who has certified genius. Is that too much to ask? Okay, that was my mistake. I made that mistake there. I don't need to change her dress, but I do need to free time to get her stress down again. During this, anything can apparently like be erased a little bit. Yeah, totally. I'm ready to get back into the fray. Yeah, Charisma actually went up. See? I'm just gonna put looks on next. If we can't, like, we can't get her to actually... This is just the, the bad first one, because we can't have her level up that quickly. It's probably what's supposed to happen anyways. So we just go back. We do need to walk around a little bit every single time, because otherwise you're not allowed to go back in. Train. We're gonna pump up your looks real quick. Let's see. You're more perceptive than I thought. Okay, so everything is now at C, which is good. Uh, we still need to upgrade a lot more though, like there's just nothing that we can do here. It was my fault for going into uh, the intelligence right from the get-go after we trained that the last time. Uh, I, did a, I did a misread. I guess during this guide section, because I, I don't want to like waste too much time on these kind of things. These mini games are like incredibly long and tedious, but it's fine. The issue kind of was that uh, Kitty is individual sills. Okay, she did sell, so that's not too bad, I guess. Stress up, motivation down. So yeah, the main issue uh, was that our intelligence, our smarts, wasn't high enough. And I am probably guessing that is due to the fact that I did her smarts a little bit too soon and couldn't actually upgrade that. Gotta be smart. Uh, uh, brains over beauty. So we should be able to upgrade her smarts this time around. Hopefully. Let me fix my marriage. A smart hostess over a sexy one any day of the week. Okay, so she wants... It's still the same thing. They want you to be smart. Smarter, at least. Her stress is down decently. So we can, like, upgrade it, probably. Hopefully. We can only do it once at a time. One stat. Okay, this time it did work, so that's good. 
Smart went up to B, which is also good. Let's go change our dress real quickly, because I don't know, like, we do own all these dresses, but I don't know if this is going to do anything. It might up our motivation again, though. That is always nice. Flashy, gorgeous, cute, refined. They didn't, like, they didn't really care for the parents, but that was... Uh, like girls smarter than me, love feeling like dirt. I need a girl who can dominate me with how smart she is. Shit, sexy man. Okay, like, looks like that is going well. Okay, I don't think I have to change anything in this one anymore. Her motivation went up, so I'm just gonna give her uh, a breather and then I'm gonna do charisma. On the final one. Free time. Plus, when she's on the phone, either one stat can get a slight increase as well. Which is not too bad. See, Charisma just went up a little bit. I guess this is still like the starting section where we like just go through all these missions while we upgrade. A little bit like we need to do the quests and search training, talking tips. Charisma didn't actually go up to B, but that's fine. Isn't it a little weird that I'm just walking through the club like this? Okay, so this was a good night. Well, well, looks like you got the hang of training after all. Kirie-san is shaping up to be quite the hostess, and Kiryu-san, Kiryu you've got the makings of a great coach. Guess the rumors were true. Thank you. Sure. It's exciting to see someone rise up in our industry. Just don't fall off a boat while going full speed ahead. Yeah, good idea. Kiryu-san, Kirie's rank went up. I can tell you've both been putting a lot of inf uh, effort a lot into it. Keep up the excellent work. Great work today. Let's aim for the next milestone. Two million, twenty-three total profit, thirteen. Remaining balance, thirty-nine. Nice. Number twenty-two. Oh yeah, we need to get her to number one. I haven't actually noticed that rank number there. Don't mind me. Okay, let's do it one more, and then continue with the story. Good morning, Kiryu san. Ready to get started? First walk the floor, so we can get down to business. Charisma. Oh, that really sucks. Drop that gorgeous, find charisma. I do have charisma on C already, but I can't pop in another charisma right after. Yikes. Uh, at least we can do the gorgeous, that's something. Something new for the wardrobe, I haven't had the chance to check it out, so... Please be sure to take a good look. Okay, new wardrobe shenanigans. Dress up. New accessories, hair accessories. A tiara, always works. Earrings, new shenanigans, but petite is still the best. Finish. 
outfit selection, gorgeous finish. Okay, so that's what we wanted to see. Gorgeous going up. <sighs> we don't want to fuck around with the charisma yet, so let's do a round of looks. And then go towards free time, and then go back towards charisma. Because we don't want it to fail, that's just kind of a waste if it fails. And charisma usually goes up with uh, free time anyways. Okay, at least like she has people around. Super cute idol, gorgeous girls all the way. Lip surface is charisma. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I want them cute, like an idol. I'm all about cutesy girls. Actually hold a conversation, gorgeous. I think if we just keep it like this, we should be fine. Going with gorgeous, training. Free time. Yeah, ready to get back into the fray. Okay, Charisma went up slightly, but not that much. We should probably get on the third. Get it all the way up. EDA is still doing fine. Refinement to the max. Cute. Smooth talkers. Refined. Cute. Refine. Cute. Laid back. Refined girls. Decent conversation. Finding the modesty. So I think if we're going for refinement, we just take the the one piece dress. Selection. Finish. Eternay. Look at the cute refinement up. That's what we like to see. Training. Talking tips. Okay, with a bit of luck we go now to Charisma B. Yeah, nice. We should have the entire floor on our hands right now. At least that's what I think. Some talking girl like my marriage is a wreck. Simply refined. Look at the people here! It's attending quite a few people. She even has a helper. Nice, look at Kyrie go. And you know if you rate Kyrie like that, but I don't care. Just kept her name like it was. Kyrie san's rank went up. Nice. I can tell you've both been putting a lot of effort. Keep it up. Wow, sales were time. Holy shit, the sales were low, but look at the amount that Kyrie got. That is. Now that's impressive. That's very nice. 20! Earn 10 regular customers! She just went uh, two ranks up in one go. That's what we like to see. Okay, I want to do one more. <laughs> Jordi, you just said that you were only going to do one one more, not two two more. Okay, let's see what they want. Important to prioritize your looks. I want a nice gorgeous girl sitting on my lap. Gorgeous looks. Okay, so I know what we're training. Any gorgeous girls around here? And gorgeous. Nah, gorgeous we got. This easy. We just need to get the looks to be. We should be able to pull that one off. 
Girl, you've been working it lately. Yeah, I've seen you out there, you two big boy. And you might be... I'm Nana. Nice to meet you. Ah, likewise. So, have you ever seen a Super Service before? Super Service? No, I don't believe I have. Well, hmm. I should have put it. It's like that moment when your service makes such a huge impact on a customer. It's like the stars are aligned and everything stops. It's the kind of thing that make that happens when you're in tip-top shape. I'm talking good condition, perfect coordination, super service stats, stuff that makes you stand out. Uh, I think you get the picture. Lecture free time and relax. That is what the... Seeing a super service happen in its natural environment is how you know your club is off the chain. I see. So if we train and dress our hosts well, we'll be able to pull off super service as you speak of? Exactly. Now, there might be a little time, maybe times you can pull it off even if you're not in top form. So don't get too ahead of yourself. Alright, then we'll make sure our hospitality is good enough to perform super service. Gorgeous. Finish. Get our motivation all the way up. Training. Looks 101. Let's work on your prestation, makeup, hair posture, all these things send certain signals to men. Sounds juicy, tell me. Tell me more, tell me more. I think that's just about covers it. Not back here, you son. You're more perspective than I thought. Go up. Nice, that's good. That's what we like to see. Okay, go to the club. Charisma, most attractive. Look at that! Super service! That was some excellent surface. Kyrie is in proper form. Gorgeous girls, charisma. One of them cute like an idol. Looks first, that's all that matters. Okay. Let's uh, put in some points into charisma. Training. Stress is a little bit high. I think I'm just gonna free time first. Charisma goes up with free time anyway, so it's fine. Then we go do Charisma on the next round. Or well, maybe smarts. Kind of depends on what uh, the people want. But our Charisma is B, so I don't think we have to worry too much. Right, Kyrie? She actually has helpers already, so she's doing a very good job. Look at that! Super service! Kyrie, your service is a second to none. Lashy? Perfect. I want a girl who's sweet as candy. Especially adorable smooth talker. Okay, so we're going flashy. First, train the charisma. I mean, of course, thanks. Nice, charisma is an A. That's very good. Mm. A sexy dress. No, nah, I'm not sure. Let's try the sexy dress. I want to see how my stats change in the sexy dress. Flashy goes up, all the way, cute goes up, gorgeous goes up, refined goes up as well, damn. 
It's time we were messing with people who have baby man fetishes. A building blew up while you were fighting a helicopter comes. And that's Yakuza for me so far. <clears throat> that's uh, pretty much uh, it, yeah. Smarts. Strong carry, you look pretty stressed. Ooh, that's bad. That's ah, amazing, Kyrie san You finally got a super service. It's all thanks to the everyone's support. I'm gonna keep on rooting for you, so do your best to become number one. Can you fight with that blonde last boss in this game too? No, I don't think so. Kyrie san I noticed that Kyrie's rank went down. Could it have something to do with her outfit? Or maybe she didn't get enough training in it. In any case, everyone worked hard today. Let's do our best to get another rank promotion. Okay, so I guess that was supposed to happen. At least that's what I think, because otherwise there would, like, I think that was supposed to happen. Her rank went back to 22 and her stress went up so freaking high. These mini games are too much, f like, seriously? Take smart girl, I want to be floored by a gorgeous girl, gorgeous, smart hostess. Okay, so I know what we need to level up. And what dress we need to put her in. Gorgeous and smarts. Mafia Bulls Cripple Sun in this game? I don't know. Following three options will allow you to balance a hostess' stress and motivation, improving their overall condition. Lecture allows you to motivate a hostess. It also has slight beneficial effect on other statistics, but at the cost of greatly increasing stress. Relax lets the hostess take some time off for herself. It's good when it needs lower stress. Encourage raise the hostess' motivation, which increases stress. Select call from the right. Use these training options wisely and get the hostess in prime condition. Okay. Um... So we want lecture, free time, and relax. First things first, we're going back to the gorgeous dress. Which will most likely improve some things. Mafia Son's cripple... Uh, Mafia Bolsa's cripple son in this game. I don't think so, actually. Like, I don't know who you mean, either. Okay, so we're starting with lecture. Yakuza fans skip the first two games like any other Japan game series ever? No. You know, you may just have a point there. Okay. Okay, everything got actually boosted. That's pretty nice. Flashy, charismatic. Nice, doing very well. Flashy, smarts, gorgeous. Won't settle for nothing less. I don't think we have to change the dress, charisma. Girls are the platonic ideal. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, no, I don't think so. Like they remade. Yakuza 1 and 2, and there's Yakuza 0, which uh, is the prequel to Yakuza 1. So hard, honestly, it's like a fever dream. 
<laughs> Wait, what is a fever dream, uh, Sardolf? This uh, entire uh, cabaret club shenanigans? Flashy, smooth talker, good looking girl. Feynman to the max. Anyone? Ah! Ah! It's indeed kind of a fever dream here, honestly. Okay, uh, I know my refinement is not really that high. We could refine by... Uh, I mean, moving at... Whoa, that is such a high stress level degrees. Nice, I mean, as with a hunky man, then cutscenes to a maiden with the ugly bastard. Uh... I think one, the One Piece dress will do fine here. Oh. Motivation back up, Orch is slightly lower, but my refinement goes up, flashy and cute goes up. Go to the club! Her stress is like... super low now, so that's good. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're not we're getting another super uh, service. She's fine. Kiryu son, Kiryu's rank went up. I can tell you both been working, putting a lot into this. Keep up the excellent work. Okay, how? Uh, what rank did we go? make quite a lot of profit. Holy shit! All the way to rank 10? <laughs> we were 22, then we were 20, and now we're 22 again, and then we were 10. One Piece question, is there a demon... If there's a demon fruit, isn't this... The, their demon tree slash plant. Isn't this mean? Uh, hmm. That is actually a very good question. I do not know enough about the lore of One Piece to, like, be sure about any of that. Complete honesty. Oh, Sensei, I've been waiting for you. Sensei, the hell, remember me? You helped me at the burger joint and outside the cabaret club. Oh, you again. What do you want this time? Well, after we last met, I tried real hard to get a date on my own, but no matter what I do, we can't get a girl second date, let alone first. So I decided to come here and ask you to teach me how to talk to women. I want to know everything you know. Will you come with me just over there, please? All right. Are you sure? I think you just want me to get beat up by some punks, don't you? Right then, what's the best way to talk to a woman? Why don't you ask one of your friends to help you? They're not good enough. I just want to be like you, Sensei. Happy Haruka. Haruka-chan, she's really cute. So, is Haruka seeing anyone right now? You want to go on a date with Haruka? No? Hmm. See Asian plastic men go wee. <laughs> Ask her yourself. She you ask her yourself. I'll call her over. What? Hey, Arika, could you come over here for a moment? Mm. What is this? Do you need something? Call her over. Hi. Uh, I just want to ask uh, when I've no and got to help the kids, so I can go on a date with you. Wait, kids, gotta cook for them and stuff. Keep up 
and keep me pretty busy. Are you talking about? I hate you. That's the third time. What's that all about? No idea. You don't need to worry about him. <laughs> Earning our 2,000 experience points. Sensei! Sensei! This game is so funny and so silly. If there's a wood chopping mini game, any items more than enough? Hitch ni san shi roku des. I wish I could run in the house because like moving from point A to point B is quite a chore in this house. She's a man either make you work hard, make you spin. She's a man either. Oh, you did quite a lot already. Time to go. True. I should probably hit a. Uncle Kaz. <clears throat> Next morning. Gonna get this time, you stupid mutt. Stop! He's me. Is this dog a friend of yours? This is the eye patch guy with the ponytail. Uh, we'll probably see him in like next coming episode, uh, next coming chapters. Get back. Wait, come back! Getting away that easy. Oh shit, I knew that where that dog's from. Jamikio. Now tell me about this dog. Well, he used to live over at Izakaya in Hatsumachi. Little fellow back then. Not the maniac he is now. Honestly, he's out of his mind. I didn't even recognize him at first, but he's definitely the same dog. The guy who ran that place shipped on up to Tokyo a while ago, though. I guess he just banned the dog. Hey. Then you used to have a dog of your own, Izumi chan? Yeah. Can I go look for the dog, Uncle Cass, please? Just wait. I'm sure he'll come back eventually. No, I'm gonna find him. Alright, you want a hand? Yes, please. Also, he doesn't have a ponytail anymore, actually. He only has a ponytail in Yakuza 0. Oh, look, boys. Nah, he got away. It's the fastest dog I've ever seen. You're just slow Tai Chi. I totally could have caught him. Oh yeah, then why didn't you? It's enough, you two. Where did the dog go? He sprinted off towards town. Well, looks like we're going for a little field trip then. You two want to join? Nah, I'm pooped. Me too, I'm sick of chasing dogs. I'm coming. Take a peek over at Ryukyu Boulevard. You can go check out Hatsumachi, sir. Come on, he's me. Again with the dogs. Dogs. 
I told you I don't want any ice cream. Uncle Cass is gonna say the same thing. Damn it, kid, you're not listening to the words coming out of my mouth. I need to see a guy named Kazuma Kiryu. What's going on here? Wait, are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah? What do you want with one of my kids? I don't appreciate people pressuring them to buy ice cream. I've come for you. Yeah, that is right. I know you know Kamiyama. I've trained Kamiyama in the use of a bunch of weapons he carries. I'm a master at them. A weapon master, you might say. Name's Yonashiro. Kamiyama told me all about how you were looking for a new, exciting way to bust skulls, so here I am. When a master come all this way at the request of his pupil. Okay, okay, you're a little suspicious, understandable. But I'm not a rich dude. I spend most of my time selling ice cream on the beach. Kamiyama is my pupil, but he also sells me weapons at a discount because I'm such a great guy. Because I'm such a great guy, I can't refuse him when he asks me to do something. So this is Kamiyama's weapon master. Maybe I should have him teach me. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll take you up on that. Yes, I was worried you were going to chicken out. Come find me on the beach, if you're mad enough, that is. Got it. See you down there. They just throw all kind of shit at you, don't they? What is this pedal? Is this on the ground? Just some junk. Throw it in garbage. Throw it in the garbage. Majima son, yeah. They ain't my star ass kicker. Ready to own your ass kicking skills? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, that's what I like to hear. So there's one itty bitty thing I need to know first. What kind of weapons can you already use? Well, I guess I only know how to know two real techniques. The sword technique I learned from an old man and the staff technique I learned from an old lady. The thing I was self-taught, not that I can't hold my own. Available weapons. <clears throat> to get information about weapons you can currently use, press triangle on the pause menu of your screen. That's more than the chuckle heads that usually show up here, you know? I'm guessing you want to focus on something you can't already crack skulls with, huh? Sounds good. Alright then, how about nunchucks? Pretty badass weapon if you ask me. Nunchucks. More, uh, more iconic Okinawa weapon there ain't. Don't be fooled by their imposing parents. They might look devastatingly powerful, but that's because they are. Okay, nunchuck who it is. Alright, take off your shirt and get ready in the ring. No way you're gonna be able to move the way you need to dress like that, okay. Majmahan! How's that? Yeah, perfect. So when do I get my nunchaku? Never. Okay, not never. But they're my babies, so I only give them out to people who can handle them. What? I can't even hold them? How am I supposed to master nunchakus without using them? That's the Yonashiro style, baby. You can't truly master a weapon until you beat an armed opponent unarmed. Using your arms and legs, I guess. Do that, and you'll be forced to learn the weapon's weak points. I've been traveling the world fighting weapon masters for years. This is how you learn. I see. Of course, I've seen some shit in my travels, man. Some real shit. You feel me? That does things to men. Kamiyama says I'm creepy. Psst. Like he's the one to talk. But enough talk. Have any last regrets? No? Then let's begin the lesson. Beat me. Yonashiro's training. Wow, look at him go. Kiryu son, you done did it. Now you're a master of the nunchaku. Your training is dunchaku. Come on, Kiryu son, that pun wasn't that bad. No, it's not that. Listen, Yonashiro son, are you really a strong fighter? What? You injure me, sir. 
How could you look upon my sick fighting skills and not despair? No. That's why I'm asking. To tell you the truth, I didn't have much trouble beating you. So which is it? Are you holding back or are you really that weak? <laughs> you got me. No single one of the chumps Kamiyama referred to me ever figured that out. Not one. But you? Oh, you. You did. I should have known you would. What do you mean? Well, let's talk about Kamiyane. Kamiyama, total genius, right? Yeah, nah, only about weapons. He has no freaking idea how to judge a person's character. Been working with him for eons, man. Not a single dude he sent could beat a one-legged guy in ass-kicking contest. Ass-kicking is what I teach, man. But I didn't want to offend my roly-poly pals, so I'd just been letting them beat me and give them a little gold star for doing the thing. You, though, you could kick a billion ass without even breaking a sweat, so you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this, yeah? It's Hyper Yonashido time. What? Oh, too amazing for you? All you did was take off your hat. Hey, 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 someone's observant. That means you're going to fight seriously? Right, yes. Look, this cap? This cap is literally a cap. You feel me? A cap on my abilities. And I wear it, my power is capped. When it's off, I'm fully uncapped. Um, are you okay? Never better, what do you ask? No, no, we can play Doctor after this is done, so let's do it. Same rules as before, drop me and don't get dropped. Only forget that guy you just fought. This is hard mode, Yoshi, not Yoshi, not a fucking name, man. Yonoshiro's training. Face Crusher. Let's go. Good fight, cutie son. You, my man, are full of shit and vinegar. I'm serious that time, man. More serious than a trip to the crapper after my mama's five alarm curry. I'm seriously surprised you beat me. You're gonna have to give me a sec. Going hyper this year takes a lot out of me. Take some time to recharge shit. Damn. You actually trying to kill me? I like your style, man. You're definitely the real thing, yo Nashiro san. He teach me other weapons later. Careful, kid, you son. You might just stop my heart saying stuff like that. You're hitting me the way you do. Either one, really, <laughs> and that's why I like you. Oh, and I promised you fancy certification and everything, didn't I? Here, you got the Nunchuku Mask certification. So this is Kamiyama, the little piggy craps will crap his pants. <laughs> Even better, I'll uh, sell you some Nunchaku. Ain't that great? I hear he can even make you a custom pair if you got the designs and materials. Ask him for the details, though. Let you know about beating fools uh, with them, not making him. Wait, I gotta say, you're really grown on me, kitty son. Grown on me like that tumor my mama has. And something times it's best to keep teaching term tumor, mer, tumors martial arts. That's why I've decided to stay here. Means you can train with me anytime you like. Well, that's kind of nice of him. Get certified, bona fide nunchaku powers now. Is 
Is that trash I see on my beach? Is that trash that I see on my beach? How dare you, motherfuckers. Oh no, this is just a wooden box. Broken radio in the box. I got a broken heart, it's like a broken radio. Just saying random shit again, like always. I do miss my sprint button. Item box. Row, row, row your boat slowly down the stream. Hera, 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 row. Parada, rada. Okay, let me go buy some more food because I'm low on HP. Don't order a drink, it's too early for alcohol. Alan Scalfians. It's more than enough HP back. Gotta get the old because I'm a son. Yesha. We're far around that guy. Not in the mood. Not a one, I guess. Far behind that guy. Okay, the girl didn't fall over, feels bad. Searching for a doge, we're searching for a doge. Got another looker key. Just to make these motherfuck ah yeah, yeah, there's one full flat on their faces more thoughts of my team not seeing a doge though well, there's the doge oh. you bastard I saw you glaring at me you want to fight huh sure let's fight There it is. Don't worry, boy, I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, get back here. Hold R2 to dash, and don't let the dog out of your sight. Chase the dog! Gotta watch out not to run into anyone or anything.
You sure can run. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come here, boy. Grr. What'd you get? Sir, you cornered him. Yep, only took half a marathon to do it. It's incredible, he's still scared though. Bark, bark. Cass, oh, Cass, can we keep him? What do you mean keep him? This thing terrifies of you guys. Can't you see you can see why I want him anyway? I do want him because because what does these mean? Because he looks like Mame. Mame, that's the dog my mommy and daddy got for me when I was born. It might look the same, but this dog here is not Mame. I know he isn't. I had to give Mame away when mommy and daddy died. But when this doggy shows up near our house, I thought for a second that mommy came to see me. Can we keep him on the cast, please? Okay, but only if you train him to not be so crazy. Deal. Come on, Izumi-chan. That dog's never gonna be normal. Look. Grr, bark, bark. But it's okay, Izumi-chan. Everyone's afraid of new things. Dogs and people alike. If you show him you're scared, he'll be scared too. So you just have to put a brave face, understand? Well... Gonna tame him, Izumi-chan. I think I'm just gonna keep trying till he's used to me. Right, what? Uncle Cass, what do dogs like to eat? It's an easy one. Definitely bones. Uncle Cass? Of course. All dogs in cartoons love them, so... The dog would probably like them the same way. Okay, can you get one? Why do I have to go? So I can stay here with the puppy. I think he likes me. He's Uncle Cass. I don't even know. But it's your idea, come on. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Keep an eye on these and me for Mimi Kyo. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to find a bone. Shame you can sprint outside of that sprinting section. It is probably not the place where I need to go, but it's fine. Okay. Sorry. I need a bone. I see. What kind of bone? It's the bone. Why do you want a bone? Uh, reasons. Okay, no bones here. Let's go to the supermarket beach in chi 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 You have me worried there for a second. Well, I'm afraid I don't have anything that can help you, sir. Spook you. No bones. This is a lost cause. Better tell Izumi. No! We're not telling Izumi anything. Wait, can I not just, like... Yeah, I was about to say. Should have just gone with dog food, honestly. <laughs> like, chewing stick would probably work for a dog, but... Bloody binding... Mystery Arisen. One, two, three, jump.
piss mountain stone. Stamina and spark. Can I equip? Holy shit. This bloody binding gives off ominous feeling I'll need to be extra cautious when using it. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna use that. Not that crazy. Lowering my defense. Item box. Shiza didn't fall on his face. all over but I can actually get my hands on one. Hmm. Should I uh, get something else? I don't care. You know what kind of toys dogs like? Toys, huh? Ball would be good. Stuffed animal. Definitely bones! Ball would be good. A ball. I've seen Koji practice baseball with one. Koji. Huh. That one didn't fall. Yeah, the old man fell on his ass. So rude, Jordy. So rude. I want a drink, but I don't want to get up and grab a drink. Is that bad? Koji! Koji, you use a rubber ball for baseball practice, right? Yep, why do you ask? Mind if I borrow it for a bit? What? Are you gonna play me some baseball, Gas? Not exactly. Well, alright. Just remember to give back. We'll do. You're buying me a new one if you lose it, deal. Though, I'm not sure he'll want this one back. <laughs> Whatever, here. Ich bin eine macho macho. Macho man. I've got to be a macho man. Any trash on the beach? There's something on the beach. Beach, beach, welcome to the beach. Teach, weech, where you do we do weech? It's just stick. It's a stick. Say hello to my little shtick. Shtick. Let's walk this guy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's me. Yeah, thanks also, Uncle Cass. Look, doggy, a nice ball. Can kill you, beats to death. Uh, he doesn't kill, though. Aren't dogs supposed to like fetching balls? He's probably still spooked. Nana. 
Long are you gonna keep at this? As long as it takes. I'm not leaving until he comes home. Guess we'll have to figure something out then. Why don't we take a stroll, sir? Clear your head, you know? I won't let these Michan out of my sight while you're gone. It's not a bad idea. Be back in a bit. It's Doge! Yeah, it is. A Doge. Didn't fall. It's a mighty doge. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Even go in sad face. Let's go say hi to Kamiyama. Police baton. It's the mighty Doge, the Doge, the Doge, the Doge. Can I buy any other designs from you yet? Oh, I can buy a regular nunchakus from you. Collapsible hammer. Uh, collapsible hammer is too expensive, but give me the nunchakus. Mob weapon. Durability down. Attack up. Need more components. Sads. Ay, 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 ay.
Let's go nowhere. You're gonna love it at Morning Glory, doggy. Everyone's really nice. Can you build him a doghouse on Kamikyo, please? Uh, sure. Really? Did you hear that, Mame? You get to live in a brand new house, Mame. Sorry, Nathan. Get out of the way. This store is Tamashiro property now, Scram. Put your fucking yap in. Come on, let's teach that model lesson. No. Well, well, the Rita Red... A resident land bucket came to pay us a visit. How about we show him some hospitality? いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。いた。い
Will you go with me? Sorry, I have plans. Can plans. Do you have a movie to get to? Maybe Shiro, one of the other guys, would want to go. Uh, yeah. Aww. Ouchie wouchie. It's gotta hurt. Not surprising with those clothes, though. Not sure you're the one to critique fashion, Ricky. Yeah. Oh, come on. Just look at the... She has hair, not a single strand out of place. Yeah, because it's one solid block. Hold up, Anika. Do you, do you not like how I look? Ah, whatever. I guess you're just behind the times. Excuse me. You gotta accept a fashion change, old timer. More about fashion than you do. Sure you do, Anika. Hey, why don't we have a little friendly contest? You know, see who's really got the best taste. A fashion contest, huh? You're gonna regret this. Regret challenging me, Rikia. <laughs> sure you are, Aniki. Sure you are. Here comes the rules. Each of us is gonna pick some out some stuff to make me to a style pop. One clothing item, one S. Sorry, got it? Yeah. Good. Then let's regroup back here when we've got him. Whoop your ass. I have an Aniki. Why do I always end up agreeing to these absurd requests? I do want to help me too, though. I guess I'll play along. Gotta make Mitsuo look cool. Item box, item box, item, item, item box. And life sucks. Rough. Can I not pet you, doggo? Apparently I can't. Sad face. Ah, oh, kitty son, I couldn't help but over here. You and the flowery man, Enrique Kun, was it? You want to make me two more popular with the ladies, yes? Uh, yeah. Honestly, don't know the whole lot about the latest trends, though. It's just gonna window shop a bit downtown. See, in that case, I recommend stopping in the store right near the big intersection. Never actually stepped foot in the place myself, but one of the resident neighbor wives seems very keen on their products. All right, go to the shop. Thank you, Miria son. Miria, Miria. You made a cuckoo? Haki shaki baba? Onigashimasu! Intersection. Dane dane! Dane yo! Dane dano yo! Dane, Dane. Dane, Dane. Hello there, sir. What can I help you with? Hopefully a lot. I'm looking for some children clothes and maybe a nest sword to go with them. Come on, sir. Allow me to show you what we have in stock. For the selection. Should I pick? America flag polo, dragon print polo. Sorry, only two options again. I guess I'll go with the sun gases, the 10 gallon hat. What is a 10 gallon hat? Ten gallon hats. How are you today, Zillar? None of these fit with a kid, mate. Sure, let's go with that. My brand new headphones, nice. Good job, dude. Good job. I can't push him over because we're on the road. I can push you over, most likely. Ha! I win. To hold the head pads was not screwed in properly. Lol. Ear pads. I read head pads. No, we didn't want to go here. No. Go back up.
I was kind of hoping we would get into, like, more fighting. Well, Aniki, you ready to get fashion beat down? Actually, I'm pretty confident. How are you feeling, Rick? Yeah. Oh, you don't gotta worry about me. Just fine. Anyway, let me grab me 2 -0. Back out of key. What is it, Uncle Cass? I'm not really feeling so good. Better assume me too. We're gonna give you a fashion makeover. Whoa, really? Heck yeah, you're gonna have to claw the ladies off you and it'll be thanks to me and my amazing taste. Don't know about this. Be fine. All you gotta do is put clothes on, tell us what you like better. You can start with mine. This kid's gonna be too shy to look like to look in the damn mirror if you dress him like that, really? Oh, he's gonna stand out, all right, like a sore freaking thumb. Hmm. Don't worry, Mitsuo. I've got the solution to all your girl troubles right here. Yeah, they yo. So I'm not taking your clothes. Nobody wears stuff like that anymore. And besides, I'm still in elementary school. I'd rather take the things Uncle Cass picked out. <laughs> behind the times now, Rikia. You did any better? You like that? It's fair and square to me, old timer. Why don't you get changed into? All right. I'm not feeling this either. Just, just try it on. It's good to change up the vibe sometimes, if you say so. You sure this is cool? I feel kind of not. You look like you're kind of having an identity crisis. I don't think it's that bad. And hey, doesn't the dragon print make you feel close to your Uncle Cass? It's always dragons with you, Aniki. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, shit! Got flat rejected and insult to boot. <laughs> She's not into me, Uncle Cass. Smell failure. Have to keep trying, Mitsuo. Well, maybe. I think she's like likes this guy Okada from my class. Well, but he's really cool, and his dad's super rich. You don't even know if he likes her. You can't ignore how you feel, Mitsuo. Well, you like her, right? Yeah, I really like her. You know what you need to do. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. Anyway, I should go grab Tai Chi. He said he'd see the movie with me ever, and I really didn't want to go. Glad you can have someone to go with. It's a shame Mitsuo couldn't get Rihanna to go with him, but I guess she did have other plans. Maybe I should head into town. But now I am Mitsuo and Tai Chi. Really? Do we have to? I just want to beat up people, come on! Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. He what said it looked like shit. Uncle Cass, what's up, Rihanna? Do you know where Haruka-chan is? I need to talk to her. I was shopping for groceries if she's not home. Oh, but I need her now. Just rush. Well, I'm gonna go hang out with some friends from school. I was trying to make a bento, but I can't figure out how to make a duruakashi. You know, the mashed taro with pork? I've definitely seen Haruka make it before, but I can't find her anywhere. Do you know how to make an Uncle Cass? More or less. I'm not local, but I can manage. Really? Come on. Let's teach me. Teach me, Senpai! Alright, alright. Calm down. Teach me, Senpai! So, think you understand? Yeah, thanks, Uncle Cass. I didn't realize you could make stuff that wasn't curry. I guess my menu has been a bit limited at times. Anyway, go have fun. And stay out of... Off the street, okay? Mm -hmm. mm, daddy, daddy, dummy, you. Yeah. You're making a bento for him. Are you going mm. on a date? Yeah. Thought it's not. Though it's not gonna be just us. Can we so? What? No. Oh, well, I think you two would be good together. I think he's kind of immature sometimes. Be happy with him, Rion. So, look, I'm not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, Haruka-chan. I can see myself dating a black guy. That's racist! Haruka-chan, sorry it came out wrong. I have to go. 
Sounds like she doesn't like me too because he's different. That's not how I raise her. Attack, Riona nearly ran into me right me. Taichi, huh? Oh hi, Uncle Cass. Aren't you supposed to be at the movies with me, so? He's gonna go, but then he told me it was some gross long story. I don't want to see that with him. Where is he now? I don't know. He just kind of walked off. He didn't look too happy. Which direction he went? Pretty sure it was towards downtown. I bet he's gonna see that movie by himself. Hmm, sounds like I should check up on him. Find Mitsuo! Two thousand and nine racism. <laughs> Damn son. Demon Stone. Listen, Haruka. I just don't see it happening. I can't date a black guy. <laughs> like she's what? Nine? Eight? Ten maybe? Uh, maybe a little bit older because they're talking about dating, but Jesus Christ. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces, man, and then, 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 There he is. What is he doing over there? Me too. Wait, that's Riona, and those must be her friends from school. We're next, Okada-kun. I'll go anywhere as long as you're there with me. That has a hotel pretty close to here with a big pool. Maybe we can go for a swim. Whoa, that sounds amazing, Okada-kun. Heck yeah, I've never been in a hotel pool before. Wrong, Riona-chan? No, it's nothing. Oh yeah, Riona has a gross burn on her arm. It's probably too much of a wimp to go in the pool, cause... Then everyone be able to see it. Is it really that gross? Come on, I wanna see. Stop it, please! Very disgusting. Punch him! Punch him, Mitsuo! Jump! Do a jump punch! Boom! Right in the face! Friends are the worst. Go, go, man. Demo, be, 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 な、何を。だけど。そ、そんなの全然だよ。そりゃビオナにとっては大きな悩みかもしれないけど。で、でもさ、ほら、俺なんて日焼けも火傷もしてないのに真っ黒なんだよ。その方がもっと変じゃない?
Oh, that's so sweet. Did you say something? Nope, nothing at all, haha. <laughs> By the way, Rikia, you should probably go grab your bags or flights pretty soon, huh? Shit on a stick, you're right, let me head real quick and I'll be back before you know it. See you in a bit, Aniki. Sorry, Rikia, this has to be a one-man job. Yeah, I don't want to lose any more people because people put bullets in my friends. Okay, so let's play some baseball. Guess I do have a little more time before I have to go. All right, it's a bit okay. Pumped. Hey guys, Cass gonna play with us. We'll meet you down at the beach, okay? Don't make us wait. Baseball boys, baseball girls. You'd be like, oh, what did I get myself into this time? The dog nicely be waiting. Let's go to the beach, beach, welcome to the beach. Teach, weech. あいつ最近よく見かけるよな。誰なんだろう。知らねえ。仲間に入りたいんじゃないかな。Recognize that kid. You live around here. Yeah. I'm Koji, what's your name? I'm Akira. Akira, you wanna play with us? You know how to play baseball, right? I, um... That'd be fun. Yeah, let's play. But I've never played before. Really bad at it. It's just like I'm bad at everything else. P is the only time I play sports and I... Even then I always get picked last. Won't teach you, but... Just saying... We were just saying how we need another guy. Come on. Got two girls and five boys. So one more boy even out the out the teams, right? Tai Chi? Yeah. Some of the other kids are pretty young too, so we won't go too hard, promise. Alright. Maybe I could play a bit. Thanks. Bark, bark! My uncle Cass is our new friend, Akira-kun. Hello. Looks like you guys are having fun. Yeah, we're teaching Akira how to bat since he's never played baseball before. It's not going so good, though. I know, Uncle Cass, you hit some balls. And we'll try and catch them. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind taking a few swings. Awesome. Come on, Akira. Let's go catch some fly balls, okay? Oh, God. Uh, reverse left stick controls. Batting style. Kicking and shinaize. Press X at the right time to hit the ball towards Mitsuo that Mitsuo throws to you. Hit 10 balls to finish the field practice. Kids practice their fielding by hitting the balls that Mitsuo throws to you. <laughs> You're you suck.
Home run! <laughs> Look at them all fall. Bunch of kids. Holy shit, where the fuck did that ball go? <laughs> Running with slippers is not a good idea, guys. Especially on the beach. Good workout. Well, okay, Raccoon, that was pretty fun, huh? Yeah. We're done warming up. Let's play for real. For real? Yep, we don't have enough people for a game or anything. But we take turns at the bat and everyone else plays defense. When should we... Where should we put Aki Raccoon? How about right field? It's a perfect spot for beginners. Good idea. Everyone get into position. Wait, what's right field? You don't know? Hey, off him, Tai Chi. It's the first time, remember? Right field's over there, pretty far from the batter. Just stand there and get the ball if it comes your way. Then throw it to uh, Mitsuo, okay? You'll be fine, Akira-kun. All right. All you need is a little confidence, Akira. Just believe in yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside for a bit. Keep an eye on him, Koji. Ah. Will do. Let's get into position, Akira-kun. Yikuzo! Look at uh, Kid you being like, oh, I raised a bunch of good kids. Or I'm raising a bunch of good kids. Do I have any... I have something in my slot, but it's fine. Time to go downtown. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past and homebound. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can get the rest of what I need downtown. Which is... again. That's the one downside about the Yakuza games is when they sometimes throw you off a loop with like um, doing main quests and side quests and there's not a particular like point that they want you to go to. You just need to like, okay, what do I do? Uncle Cass! Haruka looks worried. Akira, he... Baseball, what in the world were you thinking? Do you hear me, young man? Akira is a fragile boy. He can be playing sports with you ruffians. What happened, Koji? Well, um, Akira tripped and hit his head when he was running after a fly ball. Running? Does my Akira-chan look like the kind of boy who... Did he break his leg? Oh no, it's just my eyes not being great. Dare you? I don't see why not. Does is some kind of health condition that keeps him from exercising? Well, no. Baseball is absurdly dangerous. I can't believe you would let your children play it unsupervised. How dangerous can it be with a rubber ball and a plastic bat? Besides, it's totally normal for kids their age to be playing sports on their own. It's okay, Uncle Cass. It's all my fault. I made Akira couldn't do it. Hello. What's going on in here? Oh, Miyamura san, I rushed over as soon as I heard. What happened to your son? I'm terribly sorry. Isn't good enough, Hashimoto sensei. Just what are you teaching these children, hmm? 
School board is going to hear about this, I can promise you that. School has nothing to do with it. Why is it that you always seem to be at the center of my problems, Kiryu-san? Is that- wait, you know this brute Hashimoto-sensei? Not exactly, he runs this orphanage, though. These fall-tempered orphans of his caused quite trouble for my son recently. Then is it possible they forced my poor sweet Akira-kun to play that horrible game with them? I simply cannot stand for this. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, young man? This silly game was just an excuse to bully my innocent boy, wasn't it? Tell me the truth. Koji's no bully. How am I supposed to believe that after what happened to my Akira-chan? Police, I want the police here. Yes, ma'am, I'll call them right away. Uh, don't worry, Akira-chan, the nice cops will be here soon. Koji-kun. Kun, I'm so sorry. You guys let me play with you and then had to go and mess it all up. It was fun, though. Baseball. Maybe we can play again sometime, once I get better. Of course. It's ball Akira-chan? What are you saying? You must have hit your head even harder than you realize. Don't get any ideas about seeing those awful orphans again. I'm forbidding you from ever coming back here. They're not awful, Mom. And they didn't pressure me into playing with them. I wanted to. Koji-kun and Taichi-kun are really nice, way nicer than the other kids in my class, so don't be mean to them. But Akira-chan... No, Mom. Everyone here gets along so well, nobody ever bullied me. Not like at school. What? You're being bullied at school? Sometimes. By who? Tell me his name. Masako! <laughs> Bye bye. Nice. Well, that's a helicopter mom if I've ever seen one. Didn't mean what she said, Kojin. Don't let it get to you, okay? I won't. Especially because I made a new friend out of it. <laughs> it's one way to look at it. You're a good, good kid, Koji. Isn't your flight soon, Uncle Paz? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Just let me know when you're gonna leave, okay? I'll get the others to say goodbye. Or are you leaving now? Yeah, it's time to go. Okay, just a moment. I'll grab everyone. Thanks, Haruka. どうしたのおじさん、その格好。実は今日から1週間くらい東京に行く。マジかよ。え、いいな。私も行きたい。そうだよ。Take us with you. みんなで行こうよ。聞いてくれ。旅行に行くわけじゃないんだ。どうしても東京に行ってやらなきゃならないことがあるんだ。俺が留守にする間、新しい友達に来てもらうことにした。Go to Kamarucho. Stay safe out there, Uncle Cass. I will. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your ticket. Pop me a plane ticket. Mm -hmm. You deserve a present after how much you've been helping everyone. Thanks, Arika. Means a lot. By the way, going into town to get some stuff for dinner. Maybe we can go together until you have to leave. I'd like that. Yay. Don't worry. I can get home on my own afterwards, huh? 
growing up so fast, Haruka. Anyway, are you headed to the public market downtown? They have a lot of stuff there. It's all super cheap. Super cheap. Okay, what the fuck is this? What is this all of a sudden? Wait. We know these two, don't we? Don't we know these two? It's just no escaping those two, huh? Wait. But the real question is, what the heck are they doing in front of our house? Let me talk to this guy. I see. Thankfully, your children are some of the most responsible little rascals in town. I'm sure they'll just be fine on their own for a while. Enjoy your trip. Ojisan? Legit, what the fuck are these two doing here? Take what's in the box, always. Old magazine. Don't know if I can do anything with those old magazines. What are you doing here? Hmm? Oh, hey, you're the guy from Kamarucho. I remember you. Do you recognize us? How could I not? I see you're still together somehow. Of course we are. Don't tell me you want to get between me and my amazing Mizuki-chan. Sorry. Feels mine. Actually, just want to make sure you're not going to try and kill yourself again. I have enough to deal with without you to, without you lovebirds getting into trouble in front of my orphanage. Me kill myself? Why would I do that? Misuki Chan and I have always had a wonderful close relationship, right, Misuki Chan? Akimoto kun, you're making me blush. Where'd you get the money to go on vacation in Okinawa anyway? It's part of the loan I took out for our wedding, though we haven't officially tied the knot yet. We're just engaged. Engaged? That's right, Akimoto is my fiancé now. Good for you, I guess. Still need to leave, though. I hate to break it to you, but this beach isn't one open to the public. To mention the fact that it's not even a beach season. Go frolic somewhere else. Yes, it's not like this beach belongs to you or anything. This frolicking is going to make a great story to tell our kids someday. That's right, we've made so many wonderful memories here, right, Akimoto-kun? Sure have. I'm kinda hungry, okay. Let's go to the public market and eat. You think they'll be okay on Kukas as long as they keep their heads low? But I wouldn't count on that. Yeah, that's uh Arka, be faster. Mateo. Making my way downtown, walking fa- <sighs> well, He's already down, good to know. Came in like a wrecking ball. All I wanted was to meet a though. Hmm, nobody fell. On to the public market. I have a lot of stuff to get, so you can wait here, Uncle Cass, or maybe go upstairs. I think there was supposed to be. Are supposed to be some good restaurants up there. Sure, I'll take a look. It's not like I haven't been here already millions of times. Too many people. Those two again. 
again. It was delicious, wasn't it, Mizuki-chan? Yeah, I feel bad for making you pay all this food, though. Oh, there's no problem at all, after all. Being here with you is priceless to me. Aw, thank you, Akimoto-kun. Alright, what's next? Well, I was get thinking of getting some souvenirs for my friends back home. Yeah, I think we can get some. Mm hmm. There's a place called Stone Market out on the main street. Maybe they'll have something there. Let's go to the shop. Anything you say, my dear Mizuki-chan? I have to say, though, Akimoto-kun, I had no idea... You knew so much about Okinawa. Spent many sleepless nights researching the islands just for this occasion. That's amazing, Akimoto-kun. Stone marks for souvenirs. This vacation seems surprisingly normal. Maybe I should check in on them for there, just in case. All I wanted was to me. I'm back, Uncle Cass. Hope I didn't keep you waiting at all. You got everything you need? Yep, that should be enough for, to last us like three days. Food. Oh, I bought so much they said they'll bring it over for me. Could be regular, huh? <laughs> and even though they offered that kind of service, I don't think they do normally, but I get all our food over here. And we need so much to feed all the kids, so they make an exception for me. Anyway, you should probably start heading to the airport, Uncle Cass. And will walk you back to the monorail before I go? Yes, please. Yes, a purizu. Ojisan, Ojisan. Again? I was going to run into him to make him fall over. So I guess I uh, deserve that. Again. Sure bought a lot of souvenirs. Thank you so much, Akimoto kun This makes me so happy. Of course, my love. After all, they're all mementos of the first vacation we ever spent together. <laughs> Maybe we should buy some more of them. Great idea. Oh man, I'm so happy. Now as the best. Hey, they're actually doing pretty well. Looks like there was no need to worry. So how about we head back to the hotel and get a little bit more comfortable? Oh, um, wrong music, chan I think I forgot something at the beach. Can I run back and get it? Sure, of course. Can handle it by myself, don't worry. I'll meet you back at the hotel, Akimoto. <laughs> we are ridiculous, I'm coming too. Take all this to the... I mean, it's my fault for being such a dummy. Feel bad if I drag you along. No way, I'm not leaving your sight in a single moment. Now let's get back to the beach, okay. <sighs> Something was up with Mizuki-chan. You're right about... That sounded like they were heading back to the beach over at Morning Glory. We should probably keep an eye on them. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm kind of worried. Your face is pissing me off!
Stamina Nix. All I wanted was to meet in now. Good morning, Glory. Oji-san, 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 Oji, Oji, Oji-san. Take it. Shard of Tempered Glass in books. That might be useful. Someday. Gonna be okay. What's wrong, Koji? Hey, Haruka, did you see the couple that was swimming here earlier? Yeah, it looked like they were really happy together, right? I don't know about that. They were just here again, and I'm pretty sure they were fighting about something. What? Why? Then they walked off down the beach before I could hear what they were going. Check on them. All couples fight. Yeah, I'm worried. Definitely worried about them. Let's go. Did you see that? Yeah, I hope they're all right. Shouldn't we help them before it gets out of hand? Cass looks. Don't tell me. Sam, I should have known to end up like this again. Yusuke chan, I knew you were lying to me. Wait, I can most you have to believe me. N no, not this time. Not falling for it again. Cut it out. Yeah. Let's take a deep breath and talk it out. No, I finally see what's going on here. Yusuke chan has been swindling me from the very start. Hold on, didn't you just get engaged? Yeah, just as I thought. It was finally time to make Yusuke chan my one and only. Unless she was only ever after my money, she was never planning to marry me. You've got it all wrong, Akimoto-kun. You have any proof? First time I thought something was wrong was when we were flying down here. Went out of my way to buy expensive tickets for us, but Mizuki-chan cancelled her ticket and bought a cheap one instead. Because of that, I had to sit next to the smelly old lady the whole way to Okinawa. I, uh... You got the ticket reimbursed and took the leftover cash for yourself, didn't you? It's the reason I did that, I swear. Terrible back problems, so I gave her my much more comfortable seat, really. Oh, sorry, Akimoto-kun. I know you went out of your way to buy me that expensive ticket. Such a kind person, Misuki-chan. You trust me now, Akimoto-kun? Well, well, no. That was not the only thing. There's still more. Like the hotel, why did we have to get separate rooms? Well, the truth is, my mom found out we were going on this trip. Said she didn't want me to sleep in the same room as you until we got married. Hope for some action, Akimoto. Probably couldn't say no to her mom. That's right, I thought that if my mom got mad, she might completely change her mind about our marriage, too. This is good for me to stay all on your mom's good side. That's right, Akimoto-kun. Still, really hard time trusting you. I mean, we're engaged. You don't even wear your ring. Why not? Well, the truth is, I don't actually like diamonds. What? Watched a documentary about people in foreign countries who died in horrific conditions of diamond mines. I can bear to wear a diamond after that. Honorable of her. Try to understand where she's coming from. I just couldn't get the image of those poor suffering people out of my head, so I couldn't wear it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I'd known. Maybe you could just wear it for me every now and then. Found it. I mean, I'll, already, I'll put it on for you once we get back to Tokyo. Hold on. I'm not done. About those documentaries we. documents we signed when we got engaged. What were those about, huh? Made you sign documents? Yeah, it was a contract for life insurance. I was worried that if I, something happened to you, Ed, why are you the beneficiary on the contract when you're not even married yet? It's because my job to handle the family finances. I'm just getting ready for our future together. She's going to be a great wife. 
see. Never knew Mizuki-chan was thinking so carefully about our future. So glad you understand, Mizuki-chan, about our baby. Remember when you told me you were pregnant? What's the baby do? It's been two years. Well, it turns out I was wrong. I wasn't actually pregnant. Are we, like, we're helping this Mizuki-chan every single time? Why? But he's kind of dumb for, like, waiting two years. She must be f fucking shit up here. Um. そんな。Mizuki-chan,僕の妹だったなんて。じゃあ、僕たちは一生席を入れられないのか。What does that work though? How are you believing this shit, mate? Kind of dumbass. Let's enjoy the rest of our vacation together, big brother. Uh -huh, I can't help but blush when you put it like that. Well, I guess there was nothing to worry about after all. Yeah, I guess not. No, guys, I don't think you understand. I think you should be worried even more. This Mizuki Chi. Oh. So many red flags all over the place. All the red flags. What is this? I don't know what this is, man. <sighs> I don't think I've ever seen such a big amount of red flags in my entire life. I'm surprised they actually brought it back from second game. Also, how dumb is this guy? Legit, I don't understand why we as Q are like helping make it even worse. Like, none of the options are like. Who cares? Again, the guy took another loan as well. It's like... Searching. 
going into junior high next month. Junior high. Hey, you there. Oh yeah, you're perfect man. You're that physique, that mystique. Just perfect, mm hmm What do you want? Oh, sorry for creeping you out. The name's Mac. I travel the globe photographing only the absolute coolest shit in the... The absolute coolest shit the world's ever seen. Right, I'm kidding you. You need something? I kind of have place to be. I know, what a revelation. You know what a revelation is, kid you son? It is something like ep uh, epiphany, right? Bingo, Ringo, my man, let me tell you. Single shot I take tries to drag the pure beauty out of everything, nature, people, the works. Now, a revelation, that's basically a moment of mental clarity that only comes when you see the true beauty. Or learn how to learn, kid you son, I promise they'll come major, honey. So you're not a creep. Guess that's what I get. For assuming. Wait, I'm not much of a photographer. I don't even own a camera. No problemo, big boy. Anything will work, even a phone and camera. You see, it's all about the method, not the tool. Trust me, kid, your son. I got a third eye for talent, and you've got it oozing out of your pores. Uh, thanks. Anyway, <clears throat> sure it'll work with just my phone camera? Of course, just step over here for a sec. Now, where's that shop? Hmm, ah, Kiryu san, I can feel it. Kiryu san. There you go. Take a peek at that sweet old bag of bones on the scooter. Mm. It's gonna go down there, believe me. When it does, flash inspiration is gonna strike you like a freaking sledgehammer out to the temple. And. Don't forget to blog about it afterwards. Gotta spread the love. Get those sweet, sweet internet points. See? All you gotta do is spill your heart out, press that big red update button, and voila. Hmm. Guess not. Now then, cutie, so keep your eyes tuned on that scooter and get ready to be inspired. You all day. Actually, get <clears throat> upgrades. Essence of jumping. Yeah. Here, son. Eleven out of ten on the execution. That turned out even better than I had imagined. Expected much, but I actually learned something. Thanks for the tip, Mac. Of course, Kiryu son. Seeing you. See, what you saw, it felt like I was learning too. You know, I might be the guy who finally takes the perfect shot I've been after for all these years. What do you mean, perfect shot? It's the thing, I don't know what it is. I touch hearts and minds with my photos, but I've never been satisfied with my work. So, this perfect shot would be something that touches me just like I touch others with people. Like, ugh, I can't pronounce Makes sense. Anyways, off to travel the world to the cliffs of Machu Picchu. Splendor of Angkor Wat and 
the natural grandeur of the Norwegian fjords. Who knows where inspiration strikes? Oh, I won't be leaving you in the dark either. I'll shoot you an email if I hear if anything that might lead you to a revelation. Bye. Good sounds. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't necessarily have to look for them myself. Yo, Uncle Cass. Hey, Taichi, what's up? Oh, nothing. It's me just keeps complaining she's bored. If you could come back to Morning Glory for a bit, there's a real be real great. Again, back to morning glory. Just keeps. <clears throat> Sir, so cute to you, son. So, how the bros in California say hello. Anyway, Japanese kind of tough. My girlfriend's been teaching me. <clears throat> but I just end up using all sorts of weird words. Mind if I only show up my practice on you. Anyway, I'll hit you up. I get some sweet deeds on the perfect shot. Stay tuned. And don't forget to upload your shots to the blog. The Endo. been interesting Just keep sending me one way or the other. So annoying. <clears throat> also, just keep picking up these boxes. What's this doing? What are you doing, Uncle Cass? Looks like there's something washed up on the shore. You're right. It looks like there's something in the bottle. Letter. Let's see what it says. It's been six months now, Yasukun. Six months since you went off for your fishing expedition or came back. The date of our wedding has come and gone. Every day I stare out that beautiful wedding gown I was supposed to wear. The one we picked out together. I can go on like this, not without you, Yasukun. Coming to be with you soon. We'll have our happily ever after, even if it's not in this world. Oh no. Wait, is this a suicide letter? It reads like it, yeah? I've seen this bottle before, yeah. I saw one at the store on the corner of Karayushi Arcade. You did? If so, I might be able to track down who wrote this letter. Please, could you? Well, you have to. You have to find her and stop her from killing herself. You said Karayushi Arcade, right? I'll go there and ask them about the bottle. Well, that went depressing uh, quick. Huh? 
Rough, rough. Man, I'm super bored. I'm so bored right now. Is there anything fun we can do? There's nothing on TV and I checked all the channels. I must have read my manga a thousand times too. I know. Just play a game. Come on, it'll be fun. Hey kids, what's up? Screen nothing. That's the problem. We're practically dying of boredom, Uncle Cass. Oh yeah? I can think plenty for you to do. But you're gonna make us do chores, Uncle Cass. Even doing nothing is better than that. What about your homework then? We're already finished at every last page. Oh, oh, I got it. Why don't we go play hide and seek and Uncle Cass can be it? Something I haven't played in ages. Sure, why not? It's good for you kids to play outside. Yes, with Uncle Cass hopping on our tail trail, this will be the best game of hide and seek ever. And it might be nice to go outside too. And by the way, Uncle Cass, Izumi start, uh, will start crying if you find her too quick, so try to save her for last, okay? Got it. It's nice of you to look out for her like that, Taichi. Huh. Basically, your big brother around here. Gotta make sure everyone's happy, okay? Can find higher catch on everyone else busy cooking or something. Hey, Izumi chan, can we hide together? This time, Uncle Cass will spot us in a millisecond. Okay, everyone. You're allowed to hide inside. And in the front yard, Uncle Cass kindly count to ten while we all hide. Everyone got it? Then marks get set, go. Two, three, four, five, six, okay. Ten, ready or not, here we come. But if you want to call it quit, simply walk out in the morning, go to Lori front gate. Sounds boring. Well, that's easy me. Hmm. Where are you, little rascals? I doubt they're here, because I can't even do lock-on in this one area. Okay, so they must be outside in the garden. Yards. Oh, yeah, I saw someone under the table. Boys, I only see the girls. Keep playing. Where are you rough see one of the boys gotcha huh? never filled me before <sighs> you're great at this on cast nobody ever seen me back there i guess you learned something new about me today well on to the next one i first want to find the boys
There's just so little hiding space. Thought I would found them already. I mean, I technically have three of the four, but... Kind of surprised that I can't find the... Uh... The chunky kid. Cass, you're gonna miss your flight if you don't hurry. Oh, look at him. He's on the roof. Definitely Tai Chi. I'm gonna get up there. Gotcha. They were gonna find me. Well, yeah, I wasn't. Well, you better than this than I thought, though, Uncle Cass. How did you ever find me there? Oh, you know, I have a lot of practice for when I was a kid. But hey, you win some and you lose some. Okay, now let's grab this girl. Rats. It's way too quick, Uncle Cass. I wish you could have stayed hidden a little longer. Sorry, Ari. It's just part of the game. Now on to the next one. She had a really bad hiding spot. You actually found me? And because you were way visible. Just keeping so still too. Great hiding spot, these me. That's why it took me so long to find you. Anyway, let's meet up with the others. I just decided not to find her for all this time. Well, I found everyone. Did you all enjoy yourself? Yeah, thought we made it pretty tough, tough for you. Guess not. It was the very last one. Didn't I do a good job hiding Uncle Cass? You sure did, use me. You were the best. So thanks for doing that for her. No problem. Isn't it fun playing together with everyone? Let's do this again sometime. Promise I won't be any easier. Hope not. Three K experience. Oh, another side quest. I said, "Sit." Why won't you do what I say? It's up easy me. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach Mame to sit, but he won't listen to a word I say. That's because you've got to give dogs rewards when you train them. Otherwise, it won't stick. Okay. Cass, why don't we train Mame together? And both of us teach him at the same time. Sure, why not? Good. He actually went down to sit, though. I'm getting distracted by all the side quests. Uh, this is so yordy. Fucking side quest heaven, mate. Karyushi Arcade. Here.
Rude. Do you not see my flashy suit, mate? Cheddar lump. Wow, that is a nice amount of money. Twenty K. My duty. Lady, I guess. Yeah, I've got a question for you. That's how can I help you? I found this bottle. Is this something you sell here? We do have that one in stock here. Know anyone who might have bought one recently? Mm, let's see, you know, there's a boy who comes here every year around this time to buy just one bottle. Wonder what it's for. Boy, are you sure? Sure, you even know his name, Akihiko. He lives pretty close to here. He spends a lot of time at uh, Ryukyu Shogi. Oh, at Kubuchi Road. The only kid there, those shogi halls are filled with old re uh, retirees. Stick a sore thumb on Akiko. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip, lady. Crossing the road. Brazilian's a recent noise. <clears throat> well, it cleans out this place. Shogi place. Sad. Couldn't get another push. Mm, probably shouldn't make a move here. Kids at this young at Shogi Hall. It's got to be our boy. Are you Akiko? Huh? Oh, yes, uh, that's me. Who are you, mister? Kitty, I'm running the Morning Glory Orphanage. Listen, can I ask you something? Ever seen a bottle like this before? Oh, yeah. It looks like the one I bought. Why are you so interested in it, mister? Do you happen to know anything about this letter then? Yasakun, wedding. Oh, wait. I think this is. 
So we'll play around some other time. There's someone I gotta find. Do you sound right? Come follow me. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on! This way, hurry. Hey, slow down. He's headed to the station. Let's take the monorail over to the beach. You got it. Okay, we're right in front of the morning glory. Come on, this way. Just tossed the bottle in the ocean. Could that be the person he's here for? Mom, Akihiko? Sweetheart, what are you doing here? This man says he found a letter in the bottle, and I think it's the one to the ocean a long time ago. Is that so? Yeah, here. On the shore near my place. Oh my goodness. It's from all the way back then. When I read it, I figured it might have been suicide suicide notes. I'm glad to see you're still alive and well. It was a suicide note, yes. One I wrote ten years ago. I planned to throw myself into the ocean along with the letter and the bottle. Before I could take the jump, I felt Akito kick inside me. It was like Yasuaki was shouting at me from beyond the grave. Live, damn it! Whoa. Ever since that moment, uh, every year on Akito's birthday, I come to this cliff to send Yasu another letter. So that's why he bought this particular bottle. Uh-huh, it was for my mom. It all makes sense now. We were pretty shocked when we read the letter and thought we might have to plan a rescue. I'm sorry about that. You don't have to worry about that. I have my son now and he's my world. Good to hear. Is that right, Akiko? Yeah. I watch out for you too, Mom. Take good care of your mother, Akiko. Don't worry, I will. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Right then, I'll stop bothering you and head out of my way. Wait. Here, if you take some of these with you, they were Yasukun's favorite. I don't think you came here today by chance. What if I told you I did come here by chance? Kids of Morning Glory will love these. Thanks. Take care. The side stories in this game are so specific, right? I love them. Okay, I think we finally can now go... The teaching the dog will be different. We'll do it at a different time. The same with the other side quests. I'm at a later time. Let's go. Uh, I think we'll be going into chapter 5 after this. Soon. Meanwhile, in Minato, Tokyo. Hey, you! Wait, that's not Ryu. There's the golden dragon on the back of his... on his back. Who are you? Hey. Nice looking secretary.本日のスケジュールですが、先ほど柏木様より Kenshul Dasta. Don't know who this guy is. Oh, in Chinatown, Yokohama. Hmm. 
中国っていうのは不思議な国だよなハトや帰る地方によっちゃ犬猫まで食うっていうじゃねえ。Fuck this motherfucker. 自分が生きるためなら何でも食う。俺はよおな。そんな中国って国、尊敬してるんだぜ。人様の国に土足で踏み込むその根性あんたも立派なマフィアの一人だわ私はマフィアじゃないた,ただのドリミンだよ<笑>仲良くしようぜチンさんよ隣のその隣の店も全部うちに金入れるって言ってんだ月に100万100万あんたらが今まで日本人からぼったくった分からすりゃ安いもんだ何足りなくなったら店の権利書もらうだけだあんたには別の店でコックとして働いてもらう無理だよその話中国の包丁はよく切れるなこれだったら人間の首も真っ二つだ試してみてえな<笑><笑>シンさんの料理はうまいって評判じゃねえか<笑> The fuck is this crazy mofo? おやじ、本家からの呼び出しです。六代目の件で話があるぞ。Sherlock Holmes! What's up? Welcome. Sherlock Holmes! What's up? Welcome. That guy is crazy. Looking. It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. How are you? Bet we're gonna beat this shit stick up soon. Already don't like him. Kondrucho Tokyo. Handles 
Glad he was sending me the auto host. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna put an end to his face as well. I can already tell I don't like this motherfucker. Hey, Sherlock. Thank you very much for the rehost. For the host, I mean. I'd be horny as hell, but I ain't deaf. Okay, I really don't like this guy. I'm gonna put a pull between his brains. Or, well, not really, most likely. I'm just gonna get the shit out of him. The war is finally starting. Yeah, I don't like this guy at all. Sounded like he was fucking murder raping someone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like his car, though. Fucking bling. Talk about bling, bling, motherfuckers! Welcome back to Camarucho, bitch! Looks like things never change. Told you were booked. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. What's going on at Stardust? Might want to drop in before I go see Kashiwagi-san. Um, email. My connection. I am for all your photo needs, cutie son. So one of my boys told me about this beauty he's been eyeballing girl called the Judo Girl over at Tenkaichi Street in Kamarucho. Just look for a broad in a school uniform and glass and that's your girl. Ways my friend was macking on her real hard and not taking no for an answer. And suddenly she picked him up and tossed him flat on his ass. Man, I can picture it now. She's like some kind of wild beast behind those bookworm glass, you know? Bet she'd make a damn good shot if you ever find yourself in there. Peace. Okay. Okay. 
キリュウさんキリュウさんキリュウさんキリュウさんキリュウさん、hmm? Fuck are you pretty boy? You don't... You don't know? So far child man of the Tojo clan, Kazuma Kiryu, hmm? Oh, I know you. You'll know to back off. Open those ears real good, fourth chairman, hun. I don't know what you're strolling in here for, but let me set the record straight. Me and these gentlemen are just having a friendly little chit chat, not a suspicious thing about it. Cross my heart and hope to die. So why don't you go running along home? Kazuki, what's going on? This guy came in and started saying he wanted to buy the club. Who are you anyway? Name's Hasabe. Captain of the Nishikiyama family, you know, the one wrestling control this whole damn city. What? So look, we just want to borrow your pal's club for a bit. We're ni playing nice now, but we don't want to see what happens when we don't. Why do you need the club? Well, that just doesn't even deserve an answer now, cram pal. So what do you say? 300 mils, damn mighty pal cash, so I think you can see. Hey. It's just one measly month. Oh, f time fly by quicker than a bat out of hell. I think I know what you want for it. You're going to turn this place into a base of operations for Yakuza War. Huh. Guess you don't survive this long, Captain Rich, without knowing how its shadier side operates, huh? I also know who your target is, the Kazuma family. You're one smart cookie, buddy. But not smart enough to accept our offer. We've got other ways of convincing if you need a little push. <laughs> Why are these guys literally circling around Kiryu? He's not even gonna do the fighting himself. What a wuss. Oh, I was about the same. Who does this guy think he is? Goku? <laughs> With his fucking double-handed uh, smash down? Cabinet, are they talking about this one? Oh, cool. Hmm. <laughs> 
Kiryu-chan. You just pull all Katana out of his ass. Like he did. Head press! Should never have pulled out that sword. His defense is ten times weaker. Grab him on the staircase, which is fucking annoying. The dust settles. This war is just getting started. I think this is a good time to call quits for tonight, guys. Finally beat the shit out of some guys. Got back to Kamarucho. No, we're, no, we're not gonna go in there. We're gonna close the game. Because we saved and did everything. And, uh... We'll show them the big fist of justice! Something like that. Uh... <laughs> Guys, gals, ladies and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you have a fun time. Oh, uh, there were so many side quests today. It's like Sky... Sky Quest? Sky Quest. Side quest heaven, like I really like you guys know me. I love doing the side quests. Doesn't really matter how or when or what. I just love doing side quests, especially the Kuzo ones, because they are usually full of shit and full of funny moments, and it's just makes the game so much more enjoyable. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be live tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. I'm like, we've been talking about this a lot. Uh, that my, I'm like trying to get my life a bit more on the rails, so I'm gonna be spending a lot more energy trying to do other things than just sitting at home and, like, playing games. 
my first week is about to end and it's been already getting a lot rougher than I originally anticipated. No, actually, no, I was expecting the roughness, honestly. But, uh, yeah, so tomorrow is kind of going to be a thing. Go, like, follow Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook or something, and I'll be posting on there when I'm, like, not going to be live. Around 6 p.m. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day. Good night, and uh, adios.